<clears throat> Hello and welcome to the maybe first time ever early morning stream. And when I say early morning, I mean roughly half past nine. <laughs> Hello, hello, how are you all doing? Okay, oh, and I forgot once again to move my camera in, so let me do that real quick. One, at one point in my life I will own a webcam that does not forget its own savings every single time. But today is not that day, apparently. Today is not that day. Hey, how is everyone? Very early today, very early today. Why am I this early today? That's a good question, isn't it? Well, for the most part, because my foot, my, my foot hurts right now. I'm home alone and I've basically got nothing to do or rather nothing that I can do. <laughs> hey, Shiny, nice to see you. Too early, so early. Yes, indeed, we are quite early today. The girlfriend is out with her family right now. I did kind of hurt my foot so I'm kind of bound to my PC right now and I was like I am bored and lonely so I might as well stream <laughs> how are you shiny how are you nice to see you nice to see you hey I might be able to radio today this will be an unusual circumstance okay so a little bit of a recap. I did do some offline playing as well, but I did try to limit myself to things that would not advance the main story. Like, the closest thing we did to advancing the main story was doing a couple of the captain battles, but other than that, we basically just collected items that we'd forgotten, solved a couple of puzzles here and there, and caught a whole lot more creatures. Good, <laughs> just traveling home by a train. How are you? Oh, you've been out. Well then, safe travels. I am a little under the, well, not really under the weather, but overall I would say I'm doing all right. I am doing all right, other than that my foot hurts. So, ah, let's do things, let's do things, let's do some things. Um, what did we do last time around and what have we done so far? First things first, let me catch, the, catch you up on our bestiary because as you can see we have gotten a couple of new things. We basically got all of the movement abilities right now. Well at least or rather all of the explorer abilities that I am aware of. We've got the magnetism, we've got the ability to fly, well, or rather not to fly, to swim, that's what I wanted to say. Anything else? Anything else? No, not really. Also, also, why does it not show me the evolution here? I did actually see the evolution in the trainer battle, so apparently trainer battles do not actually show you the monsters in the game. That's good to know. That is good to know. I did not turn any of the quests in that I did for the guild or rather the rangers. Mostly because I decided, okay, the next time I'm going to move into the rangers headquarters, we are going to see all of the captains with the pieces and I do kind of want to show you guys those captains as well. So how about we do that first things first? How about we do that first things first? I've also uplifted or rather defeated a couple of those the real estate agencies. Okay. Okay, I'm surprised. Usually, whenever I've defeated any of them, the rangers just showed up here for a short amount of dialogue, but maybe Greetings. that changes. Greetings, my eager assistant. Have you recorded our mystery monster? We're looking for a wooden faced elf spotted oh. in the park. Here it is. Oh, you meant recorded. The elflet, eh? What could the significance of this be? Perhaps there's some deep psychic connection between how human beings perceive faces and how these monsters manifest into being. It could also simply be that mask looks rather cool. Must congratulate you on your abilities. Why at this rate I feel like I'm, I am the assistant and you are the scientist. The truth is... I'm not actually a professor or a scientist. Before I was sure on new viral, I was a corporate salary man. I am less a patron of science and more a patron of science fiction. Even still, I must remain rational. Coming here has given my life a new purpose. I may not be a real professor, but I believe my effort here can still Thank be you. valuable. Thank you for your unrelenting assistance to the scientific cause, my friend. You set an example for us all. 
Hey, okay, hmm. looks like we did complete the quest line. If you ever want to help my cataloging further, come chat with me again. There will always be something new to investigate. Greetings! How many different species have you recorded out there? Goodness gracious! <laughs> 50? Thank you. Thank you for your work. Here's some compensation for your time. Okay, so I guess it's going by at a total number of recorded species from here of mine. Don't forget to remaster tapes when they reach 5 stars. I've heard of a handful of species can only be obtained that way. Greetings! Because do we have 60 as well? 50, not that bad. Okay, so 60 is going to be the next milestone. So, in the meantime, let's go for 60. Who are you again? Hmm. Ah, there we go. One thing we should be able to do now, though, Hello. is we should be able to finally get the gym pass because that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get that thing in the first place. Ta -ta. So let's see what we can do now that we've got the gym pass. Hey, are you here to work out? Yes, let's pump some iron. Seizure's base stats can be adjusted on this screen. This will affect all of its monster forms. Extra points can be obtained from Ranger Wilma. Lower minimum volumes can be unlocked by defeating more captains. Okay. I see, I see. That's interesting. <sighs> Bye. Okay, so now let's see. Was that Ranger Wilma? Hello. Yeah, it was. So I guess extra gym points. Provides one additional point for use in a gym town hall. Okay, so how many of those can I buy? Can I just buy them in bulk? Because honestly speaking... Ooh, you know what? Additional stickers would also be nice. Because quite frankly, I'm buying a lot of the extra stickers. Extra sticker stuff makes a lot of monsters that usually ain't valuable a lot more interesting. Wait, additional coffee stock? Huh. Interesting. Microphone upgrade. This upgrade microphone for your caster player will improve the chance of a successful recording. You don't say. You don't say. Ooh, and filling up the fusion meter faster, that sounds good. To make a fusion meter fill up, okay, so all of these basically just increase the amount of fusion stuff we get, that's also pretty good. Miniature refrigerator. Oh, and with these you can actually increase the amount of healing items you carry. That was one of the things you were wondering about, wasn't that shiny? Because you are limited in the amount of healing items. But here you can actually upgrade your pouch. Ooh, and I like the idea of being able to just dash into monsters to be able to do some extra damage there. Why not? Why not? Let's buy Ta -ta. one gym point and time for a workout, hey. which is a lot of extra points available now. Remaining extra points, five. I mean, generally speaking, I think speed is probably the stat that helps most things the most. Just because if we kill the thing before it connects, <sighs> then that Bye. saves us a lot of a headache in the long run. So then the next thing I wanted to do, the next thing I wanted to do before I head out is we did find a character a long long time ago, that one was even live on stream, but we never actually got him into the party, I've only seen him on shiny stream here. So let's head in here, it should be in one of those houses, right? Was the little black guy with the red locks? Okay, now that's your house there, friendo. Whose house was it? I've only seen it once on his stream. Oh, was that a quest I still need to fulfill? Wait, give me a second. Main quest. Locate Archangel to complete Morgante's song. Then follow the clues and can find your way home. Train each of the ranger captains to become a ranger. Finally clear out all the land keep associate offices. Meet Felix. West of Harbour Town. Oh, it was west of Harbortown. No wonder I couldn't go there yet. That being said, how do I go there? Well, I guess I could just try swimming over now, now that I've got the ability. And since we are able to swim now, can we get up here though? 
Oh, yes, we can get up here. Okay, so we are no longer limited to the bridge. And there he is. Hey. Hello there, Felix. Oh, hey, you came to hang out. You want to see you at a rescue from the sad remains of my old place? Sure. So in my regular life, I was a soap artist. A what? Hmm. It's easier to show. Check this out. So this is a soap reel. You slot it into the soap trope right here. Then look through the slot. The soap trope has a motor in it. So when I hit this button, it spins. The row of the soap trope has the same image drawn over and over with variations. <laughs> when spun around, it animates and comes to life, right? Ah, so, okay. I kind of know which kind of technology those were ref referencing to, because when I was still a child, we still had these movement comic books that you basically had to flip through real fast, like, and it would look like the image actually moved. Those were kind of funny. You can pull the lever to switch to the next row for the next part of the story. So basically a moving comic book, that's kind of funny. You tell the whole story and bring it to life just with drawings. I've been obsessed with souls ever since I was a kid. They used to be very popular, they are kind of all out of fashion. It's more of a niche medium now, at least where I'm from, I mean. I could see this being something that hipsters would be into. Most soul stories are about heroes in the French Revolution, like the Scarlet Pimpernel. But ever since the big budget movie adaptations really took off, there's been less interest in the source material. I got into these stories as a kid and couldn't shake my love for them. Guess that's why I'm an artist now. Hmm. Right now I'm trying to come up with some new characters, and turns out an island full of weird monsters is the perfect place to find inspiration, which means you might be able to help me out. Searching for a particular creature and I want to get a good look at one. You know you can find it cherry made. It's a warrior with a wooden sword. Can you help me out here? Cool. Sure. Cool, I'll mark it on your map for you. Fight a warrior with a wooden sword in the cherry maidos. Ah. Okay, I guess we've gotten a new character. And there we've got the brush room. Brush rooms are keen artists and paint using the strange pigment that ooze from their head. It has been observed that they are able to change the physical properties of an object they paint over depending on the color they use. Smack plastic coating and paint swipe. Alrighty then. So I still would rather have Meredith with me right now, but first things first, since I am over here, can I get this bridge down somehow? Okay, so I do need something else to put onto the secondary switch here. Do we have a rock around here somewhere or a chest, a crate? Anything along those lines. Like, I'm not picky people, you can hand me quite literally any old piece of trash and I will be fine with it, I tell you. I tells you, but apparently, apparently there's very little litter around this part of town. Very little litter. I do wonder, wait, which level do the trainers on this side have? Came here because I heard there was a bank, but all I see is a river. Oh no. So there we go, let's see that. This moth has become my new champion, because this thing basically gives itself multi-target right at the start of combat. So I don't know how you exactly are going to do for the time being, but trust me, there will not be much left for you to accomplish. Look at that, look at the damage they're doing. Yes, they are a lot lower in regards to the level, but still that's pretty nice for an instant double hit, right? Also, also, why didn't you do anything there, Mothman? It can only be used if the user has a coating active. Oh! Hits one target and transfers the coating onto the target. Always goes last. Okay, so basically what you are trying to accomplish is you want to try and change enemies around. I see now. Okay, works for me, works for me, but once again, I'm probably not going to use you much for the time being. So there we go, the featured revenue stream. Ah yes, who, who could remember, who could forget? And there's something to break through. That rock looks pretty damaged, yes, 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 I, I did notice that as well. I vaguely remember these things. Wait, I've seen these things before. Okay, so... Oh! I think this is the crate that I need to get over there. I think that is the crate I have been told about and... Ah! Oh, God damn it! Can I get the... 
magnet all the way up? No. Okay, okay, these are level 6 monsters. These are literally just level 6 monsters. This game would be so much faster if the partner could actually activate those switches. <laughs> Do I even need to go through the puzzle? You know what, we are just going to go through the puzzle and see what happens. How about that? How about that? Uh, no, uh, ah! Not that easy to hit that platform, trust me, trust me. You've got a little bit of an icy momentum going on when it comes to this thing. And there we go, there we go. So let's put that one down for a second and see what's in here. Grounded and toaster tape, there we go. Then let's fly over and up. Um, could you just leave me alone, little snake? Like, believe, believe you me, you do not wish for this battle. You might think you wish for this battle right now, but you do not wish for this battle. Okay, you know what, you know what? It seems like you need to be taught a lesson. So how about we just sapphire this? How about we just sapphire this little endeavor of yours here? There we go. See, told you you wouldn't want this. I told you you wouldn't want this, but you didn't listen. Okay, so fly and... Ooh, Jesus Christ. Okay, one more fly. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, okay, that one was a close call. That one was actually a close call. I think the rest is just a glide. Okay, now I'm here. Ah, that's what I needed the chest for, gotcha. So, and we've gotten frozen and some plastic. Okay, that's not much, but still, we have knocked another thing out and we've gotten our little crate here to actually open the bloody gates. Wait. Oh, looks like I never needed the crate in the first place. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes in life, you are making things more difficult for yourself than they actually have to be. Okay, you know what, let's just check all the houses on this side real quick, because I haven't been on this side before. And um, what am I looking at here? Hello? Huh? Pardon me, but are you involved with the rangers? Okay. Yeah? Okay, wonderful. I'm a fellow ranger. Well, a trainee at least. Perhaps you could lend me a hand? Got some plant saplings grown by the pipers over there on their farm. They are for up the town. Uh... However, I'm not great at decision making. Which plants would look best? Wow. It's too much. Would you help a fellow ranger out and put some saplings in the plant? Okay. Sure. Thank you. Here, take these. Gardening kit. Plant 14 saplings in Hay Harbor Town. Place them around town. Let me know when if you filled them all. Alright then. Okay, so let's just test if I can put multiple of one. Okay, yes I can. That's good to know. Okay, what else do we have in here? I do like these little quests that allow you to basically design the town. Make it a little more homely, that's kind of funny. So, so, so. Oh. And what else do we have here? You know what, let's put red roses in here. There we go. Another red rose. Did I check the other rooms for planting kits? Like the first one had two, we all remember that one. But, okay, the other ones seem to be empty. There we go. There we go. Okay, what else do we have here? What else do we have here? Those are two of the houses. There's quite a few houses on this side. Okay, nothing in here. Who are you? <gasps> life in Harbour Town is peaceful. But I miss city life. Commuting on hot trains, buying expensive lunch from a supermarket, losing most of my wages to rent. Those truly were the days. Ah, yes. Everything is looking better through nostalgia glasses. <laughs> you know how it is, you know how it is. Also, let's get this desk down a little further. I do have to sit a little weird right now just because of my foot. Ooh, who the hell are you two? I specialize in stickers. Change type with the user. Very handy if you're also using my colleague's coating. They're all compatible with every potential. Ah! Okay, clobber. Hits twice, not bad, not bad. I do like the idea of these things that change typings as well and stuff and so on. It has a very interesting elemental system. Elemental chemistry is key. Okay, and these are just the coatings. The camouflages and everything, yeah, 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 yeah. It would be impossible to prepare... Oh! 
beast camouflage is very interesting because the thing about beast camouflage is beast type basically has no disadvantages it had no resistances either but it's very interesting that it can even change back to this type because usually with those neutral kind of types what the hell is this hello you don't really expect them to be dominant in any way shape or form more interesting history than you'd think. It's important to look back on our history here. We want to see what our future needs of us, okay? Upon the 48th anniversary of its formation, Havatan solves its previously established measural position becomes managed by a committee, okay? Following the arrival of multiple engineers, the first electrical grid is built in Havatan. The first child is born on New Viral, the first attempt to leave New Viral ends in disaster. A vessel built on the island is sunk by storms a few miles off the coast. New arrivals appear for the first time. Harbor Town is officially founded. The first recorded encounter of an unknown native creature or monster occurs. Okay, okay. The British naval vessel HMS Birkenhead sinks in a storm in the Earth year 1845. Much of the crew in bracket wash ashore on an unknown island, later christened New Viral. Huh. An attempt to form a second town named New London begin on New Viral. After the terrible disaster, New London is destroyed. Only one resident survived and was able to return to Harbour Town. And New London is the bottom right area of this. And one of the captains was Ter Penny Dreadful. I really hope you guys still get to see her at some point. Fall Down Mall is discovered. Bring a large supply of earth goods to New Viral. The phenomenon of monster recording is discovered for the first time. Ah, so that's still a very recent thing. Hey! My great-grandfather was one of the sailors who was shipwrecked on New Viral over a hundred years ago. I'm sure he'd be proud to see what we've made of this place. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's an interesting little tidbit of lore here. Anything else in here? Yes. Don't worry about the traffic crap, that's just my son. He loves playing with his bootleg tape. Bootleg? Yeah, have you ever seen a monster in your travels that isn't its normal color? That's a bootleg, but don't confuse it with a coating. Bootleg monsters permanently have different colors, different elemental types, and different moves from usual. And when we record them, they keep those attributes. We call it bootlegs have a higher rate of producing uncommon and rare moves, so that they can be very useful. Here, why don't you take this and see for yourself? Captain Cody gives me a spare, so I have plenty already. Oh! Okay, I guess we've gotten a new monster, Pondwalker! Pondwalkers are clear proof that the monster of New Viral must have originated elsewhere and cannot be native creatures to the island. The robotic walker exoskeleton of the Pondwalker is a highly advanced mechanical creation, perfectly protecting the fish within. Ah, and it is perfectly balanced as all things should be. So we would have access to a poison pond walker. Interesting. Pond walker was put in storage. Bootleg monsters can appear anywhere at random. But apparently they are more often seen in fusions. Ah, so that's an incentive to actually fight the fusion things. Gotcha. See, Shiny, that actually explains why you did have a bootleg encounter in one of those rogue fusion things. Because the chance was increased, even though I do not know by how much. I've heard that some very rare bootleg monsters sparkle and shine like as if they are covered in glitter. Oh, does that mean that the glitter type can only be found on bootleg monsters? Because I do know of the glitter type thanks to Shiny, because he does have a bootleg Shiny with glitter. And glitter type monsters are a little unique. There was one you could get from one of the code events during the beta days, or rather during the demo days. I mean, I guess the demo is technically speaking still up. But the demo code does no longer work. Trust me, I've taken a look at it already. There is one code that still works called launch day that gives you a metal crab, one of the traffic crabs. But other than that, there are none in the meantime. So, I mean, I guess that should, means I should probably take the metal crab with me. Oh, I did have some engineering work to do back in the shop, but I might just swerve it for now. Yeah. 
Yeah, we gotta take a break sometimes. Wait, what did you say just uh... now? Uh, I said I had some engineering work to do. What did you say after that? I was gonna swerve huh? it. Is that a phrase? To swerve something? No. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, if you're going to skip out of doing something, going somewhere, that's you swerving it. Oh, gotcha. Shall embrace your unusual slang with an open <sighs> mind. I think I'm gonna swerve this whole conversation. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to take you with me. <sighs> because I wanted to continue your quest line for the time being. Because there was something I needed to do with you. Well, there's two things I wanted to do with you. Just going to enter the range ahead for a second. Ah, there oh. we go. All right. So this is one of the captains, Captain Lodestein. And that concludes my report. Our hydroelectric generators are all fully functioning. We might need some new parts in the next couple of years, but it's small stuff. Not bad. Not a bad state of affairs for the town then. Thanks for your report, Levy. It's a miracle that we have running water and clean energy at all. I worry sometimes that things could change. This island is unpredictable. <laughs> Don't stress about it, Captain. Even if Harbortown's fortunes were to change, the Rangers will be here to make the Thanks. best of it. Thanks for saying that. You're right, of course. Alright, so let's just exit and enter until we've gotten through all of them. Then mm. we've got the sleepy guy. I'm gonna be honest, Yanfi. I don't think the other captains get it. Huh? Get what exactly? The whole sleep thing, man. My whole deal. They don't know about the dreamscape, the collective subconscious, or how any of it affects this whole place. If I'm honest, I'm starting to suspect they think I'm just a big slacker. Well... Well, you are a big slacker. <laughs> I know. Don't worry about the others. They don't have to understand your work. They just have to respect my decision to make you a Thanks. Thanks for the pep talk, Captain. <sighs> oh, all this human interaction really takes it out of a guy. I think I'm gonna go and get some shut eye. And that's this man done, but we have not yet gotten to the best girl. Nope. Okay, almost there. I'm serious. I'm serious, Yanfi. The latest batch of ranger trainers just don't have what it takes. They don't understand that strategy matters more than just from farming into the scariest well. monster. Well, isn't that your job to teach them? Newcomers are enthusiastic and that's a good start. Who better to teach them the combat tactics than a master tactician? <laughs> <laughs> I see your point. I'll reserve my judgement. For now. For now. Okay, almost, but that leaves us with finally the best captain we've found so far. There she oh. is! Penny Dreadful! I love this girl. I'm telling you, boss, something shifted on the astral plane lately. All the ghosts are talking about it. There's some big players back on the board, they're saying. Huh? All the ghosts? Yeah. Of course! There's all sorts of spirits chasing and toolpots hanging out on the astral plane. Where do you think you get my best info from? <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Okay, there we go. That's all the conversations we had to catch up on. So, the next thing, next thing, next. We are going to teleport to another tram station that we found. The Gloucester Road Station. This one was a very small puzzle to get to. But it is time for us to encounter... A small little detail that has to offer. Oh, okay. What does this mean? This looks like we should be able to do something with it, but I do not yet understand what. And this one here looks like we need some kind of ID card or something like that. But ah, what is this? Eh. Move you out the way. Eh. Alright then, found some extra bits in the train station. So, spoiler alert, I do already know what this train station here is all about because I've seen my girlfriend do it, therefore... Well, she didn't finish it, but I've seen the major junk of it, so I'm not going to pretend like I'm surprised and shook if I'm no reaction streamer after all. I don't see a point in me lying about the actual status of surprise I'm into. <laughs> So, let's activate this here. 
And there we go. Are you going to stay open or do we need to get another chest? Nope, you are just going to stay open. That is nice. That is so very nice of you. Ah, and that's where we can find the wild forces. So let's capture one of those. Oh, I forgot to take the other monster with us. But yeah, as you can clearly see, this area is far beneath us in regards to level. So I still need to record and do forces, guy. Recording! Oh, just an 11% chance. Oh, so bad for us. So bad for us. Oh, come on. That's worth more than a 64% chance. Water conducts electricity, increasing the scope and range of lightning type attacks. And there we go. Cool. Got the faucet here. Nice. And that's another one down. Faucet here's ability to project powerful streams of pressurized water. It's tied directly to their emotional state. They are very easily startled and upset, which leads them to often unexpectedly use their water decks without intending to. It looks like most of these monsters are not fully in control of what they are doing in any given moment, I do have to say. So, what do we have here? Well, we've got a crate over there, which we can use to activate that little pressure plate up there. Oh, come on, Fawcett here. Really? Really? You really want this? Trust me. You might think you want this, but you don't want this. I wonder which of these two is faster. Okay, she's still faster. The Tri Things is one of my favorite monsters right now. You wouldn't expect a metal cube or whatever that thing is. Well, I guess it's more of a metal cone. A metal tear, let's put it like that to be this fast. But nope, look at this thing. Pretty decent speed stat and pretty high ranged attack stat. This thing goes hard. Very hard. Okay, and there's another one. Oh god! You know what? Fair enough. I might have missed my... Okay, the perspective on this thing is a little off for me, I will just say, but you know what? Does not matter. We have opened the gate. And since the gates are not going to close on us anytime soon, might as well head in here and see what this is all about. Alright, we've got another crate over here. Nothing too exciting yet. Another pressure plate. I do like those little mini dungeons. They do kind of remind me of Breath of the Wild in that way. And that's in a good way, because the mini dungeon stuff like that was one of the few things I actually did enjoy about Breath of the Wild. It wasn't one of those atrocities like Weapon Breaker in this game. My girlfriend is going to play Tears of the Kingdom and I have been asked if I'm going to play Tears of the Kingdom. The answer is maybe but probably not, just because it's a case of the weapon breaking mechanic just ruins most of the game for me and I don't really want to engage with that ever again. And what do we have here? Oh, just a wing gloom. Just a nice little level 10 wing gloom. Oh, how cute, how cute. Do you really think you're going to get to do anything against me? You really want this. Trust me, you don't want this. There we go. And energy shot. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, good sir. I will see you in another life. There we go. Ah, and now we're getting the machine part to do the other thing. God, chaka, 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 cha. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, do, do, do. So, okay, this perspective shift here is not all that necessary right now, but you know what? I will take your word for it that it somewhat is. So, let's put it in there, and now we've gotten the train ticket. Honestly speaking, you could have just given me the train ticket in the last box and it would have worked out as well, but I guess an extra step does never hurt nobody. <laughs> All right, angel time, everyone, at least I think. What's wrong with this place? Feels like there's something pushing against me. It's like there's television static in my brain. Oh, oh, there is, there is. But you know what? Switch things around first. I do want the Southpaw involved in this, because the Southpaw has a very nice ability that I'm happy about, and angel time! 
Let's see what this guy is all about. My girlfriend actually lost to him, even though she was higher level than him. What? Because he had a little bit of a weird mechanic. What is that? Why does it look so wrong? It hurts my head just looking at it. See, Shiro, it's an archangel, isn't it? Yeah. Are you more toys for my collection? I desire more Sorry. play things. Sorry, mate. We are not here to play. Yes. You two will make for a fine pair of glove puppets. I do not wish to know where this man is trying to shove his hands into. But let's take this thing out. Puppet Talks, master of puppets. I mean, unless this thing... Okay, interesting. He seems to scale with level. Because when my girlfriend fought him, he was like level 12 or something. And now that I'm fighting him, he's level 24. That's interesting. Okay, so... Let's try to take the effigies out first, because I do think that is actually what you need to do in this fight. Okay. Do I need to wait? Oh, okay, no, maybe the problem was that she did hit the effigies, and I would should rather hit him. Okay, gotcha, okay, I think I've understood the mechanic now. Okay, you're in the middle now, and there's a spotlight on the bottom one, so that does kind of make me think that he is about... Oh, because of the AP steal, I can't use dog ears right now. So, you know what, I'm just going to sharp him up in the meantime, and we are going to spit. I do have a feeling he is going to switch to the place of the one the spotlight is on. Yeah, I think I've got the mechanic there. So let's see if he just continues doing that, but if that's the only clue that I am getting, that's the only clue I will need. Ah, wow, wow. Okay, this man is actually doing pretty decent damage there. Oh my god, okay, still you're stopping me from using dog ears. That's annoying as fuck. We're just going to keep smacking the little guy there. We are just going to keep smacking the little guy. And you know what? Damage based on speed of higher hits one target and flex the random deeper. That sounds like a good thing. There we go. There we go. So just don't hit, this, uh, hit the effigies in general and aim for the right one. Ooh, and we've put him to sleep. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Okay, that was a nice little counter. Oh, and now he's awake again. Okay. I hate the fact that our dog ears will not have as much of an impact anymore, but at least we can still keep Gambit around for a little while longer. Even though uh, only getting up an extra turn, so I might have to use Ritual on this one. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Oh, and we flinched. Okay, you know what? The flinch doesn't actually do anything if he goes after us, doesn't it? Okay, so instead, 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 how, okay, it doesn't look like he's about to switch again. So how about we just hit you? Wait. Oh, okay, so flinch carries over to the next turn. I did not know that. Ah, but good to know, if my monster is flinched, then Gambit does actually not tick down. So that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Okay, so you know what? Toy hammer time. Toy hammer time, and we are just going to ritual it up. There we go. So, Meredith is safe for the time being, and Popotox is basically dead. Would have loved to have a fusion available for this fight, but in all honesty, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's nothing to steal left for you, my friend. Okay, whom do we bring in here? Let's just bring Jormon Gold in because Jormon Gold has an A first strike anyway. Oh, but he strikes before they switch, so eh, you know what? Tomato, tomato. AP steal and spit at him to finish the job. Looks like we didn't need the ritual after all, but you know what? I will still take it. And was brought back with ritual. There we go. Wonderful news. Wonderful news. Ooh, superheated fist uncommon. Damage based on range defense if higher. Oh, so you can even get those kinds of things with uncommon ability. That's nice. 
And Hopskin got something new as well. Ah, so it looks like the monster doesn't actually have to be the one fighting. It can still get upgrades if you just have it equipped. So, that's good to know, that's good to know. Your stamina increased by 14%, you can now glide for 4 seconds. Hey, hello Morganta, are you happy with the progress? If you wish to leave this island, yes, 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 I do know. This part of the riddle I do know already, so skip to the part I have not yet been able to listen to. You must pass hand, you must walk the path most long, yada yada. To the east your wings must fly, to the place only I have known. There we go, okay, so now we should get something new. Oh, that is where my chain must lie. Oh, it's now empty and alone. Okay, so we have to get, basically get her back to her original dungeon. So the Archangels do travel. My dolls! You have killed my dolls! Oh, and Triangle Head is back. Hello, Bill Cypher. Nice to meet you, my hated friend. Wait, no, hated friend. Say, are you looking for a new line of work? Let's talk. All right, so we've given the man two Archangels. Hmm, some humans got in here. Run along now, will you? Okay, I mean, this guy is most um. likely going to be the final boss. That Archangel better have learned that I'm no one's plaything. Um. This isn't the first time the Triangle Cloak has appeared to have an Archangel, is it? That doesn't seem good. Did you say something earlier about some lead you wanted to follow up on? Well, that is where my chambers lie, halls now empty and alone. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that means. Hmm, I guess we better get back to adventuring. Didn't you hear some rumors about something happening in Cherry Meadow? Might be a good place to check out. There we go. Okay, Cherry Meadow is the main thing we still have to do, but... Okay, do I need to rest? Kind of surprised that after killing an Archangel together does not net your heart immediately. But you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I can do this. I can do this. We are going to just travel to the Ranger's quarters and we are going to work on Meredith's actual quest. That should get us to the part where we can fuse. That's kind of what I'm trying to do with all of the comrades right now, to get them to the part where we can actually activate our fusion. Um, how do I get back there the fastest? Can I still get up from here? Yeah, I can. Hello. Oh. Really? Really? One level 15 squirey? No. You know what? Smacking you down will probably even be faster than running away from you. How the fuck do you outspeed these two? I will never understand, but now you're gone. There we go. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that magnificent? So, and... Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on. Also, Shiny, if you don't have one of those guys already, capture one. I don't care if you've gotten him in a bootlegged version or if you've just gotten him as a regular one, but you need to get one of those. Trust me on that one. I do wonder, do we still do... Okay, we might actually do reduce damage whenever we do something like this when there's an extra trigger, but I don't know for sure. Okay, the Electrified did actually do some decent damage there. Good thing is we can kill you before you do anything else. Goodbye. 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 Oh, we just saying goodbye. So, who are you? Oh, there's a range fusion here. I mean, there would be a campfire nearby my target anyway, so let's change, let's challenge the fusion swarm. Oh, it's these guys, group of pop skins. All right, all righty then. I mean, that should still be fine. We can still go with Gambit first. The only problem with Gambit last time around was that, that, that our southpaw got some of his IP Stone. Not IP, AP stone. IP theft is something very, very different. Okay, if we are getting flinched, that's gonna be an issue. Lucky for us, we didn't, so we can dog here's Meredith now. And Meredith, just, just spit at him. Just spit at the man. Look at that. Look at Meredith go. Isn't she amazing? And there we go. Six turns of Gambit. Isn't that nice? The problem with this combo right now 
is that Southpaw is still faster without Gambit on Meritive, but it is slower with Gambit on Meritive. So maybe, maybe I would be better off to replace her, to replace Southpaw with something slower in that regard. There's one non-dog monster that can use these dead dog. The, okay, try again. Then use the dog here. So that might be something to consider. I'm just going. Do I even want to dog hammer? You know what? We're just going to sharpen up for the time being. And ooh, you know what? Sonic Boom might just do the trick here. Look at that! Oh yeah, beautiful, total sweep from Meredith. Oh, okay. Is this just a ho okay? This is just the okay. I do know what this fusion is all about, but the thing is funny looking. The leaves now kind of look like it's just a bearded thing, like a big bear. That's funny. That's very funny. I like that. Okay, so as always, I think it's a good idea to get rid of the small. Well, I guess we don't need to get rid of the small things if we can just get them caught in the AOE. So we might as well just throw another Sonic Boom out in that regard. There we go. Nice little hit there. Nice little hit there. Really? Oh, you're going for resonance. You are. Wait. I did not know that you can resonate with monsters that are not glass type. Like, I thought resonate could only be applied to glass type monsters. So. This is news to me as well. Have another little bit of a hit. And how about my strongest move? Acorn Mortar! Look at that. Okay, they are falling apart. Yeah, just a push eye. Just a push eye. But their fusion looks pretty thick. Their fusion did look pretty good. So. Another toy hammer is probably going to end you, and we're just going to spit at the hop skin. Nice, nice, and boop! Boop the snoot. So that's it, nice. Nice, easy fusion swarm fight. Honestly, that was easier than I expected it to be. Hey, and a level up! And a level up! Oh, right, I've got Dive Evil on the team right now, I completely forgot. I might want to switch a couple of things on the steam around. So we just need to get over there. Just need to get... Oh, wait. Oh, I accidentally dashed into something, but I guess this is a good opportunity to introduce ourselves to the concept of dash damage. Honestly, that dash does pretty good damage and it can trigger burn as well. So, huh, 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 huh. Wait, why do you have extra AP right now. Like I'm not entirely sure why my dog is starting with an extra AP there, but I will just take it. I do not understand how it happened, but it seems good. I have to take out the ball turn before it does trouble again. What goes around causing the trouble. Okay, the plant wall is a little annoying, but it shouldn't be too bad, considering this thing actually does have a chance to ignore stuff like a plant wall. So, who knows, maybe we can just take it out right away. 50-50. Oh, come on! You have such a nice 50-50, and it looks like it won't matter anywhere, because you just burned to death. So then, so then, this is the camp I was talking about. Do I even want to use it? Because my party is still in pretty good shape. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm not actually going to use it for the time being. Ooh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's swap you with try things. Because between bullet dash and this thing's first strike ability... Oh, those are new yeah. monsters. If I'm being honest, I bet this place looked way tackier before all the structural decay. I admire the Postal Apocalypse chick. The shop up there looks like the kind of place you'd find music in, right? I mean, it does have a cassette player thing on it, so I don't know how much music ever got sold on cassette recorders. I think that was before my time, even. During my time, cassettes were mostly just a thing for storybooks anymore. Let's find a way to reach it. 
So, but first things first, let's capture one of these. What do we have here? Musketoy. Oh, damn, I'm very overleveled for this area. I am very overleveled for this area. I think the game expected me to do this far sooner. Okay, so you're just going to do Sapphire to hit both of them. And we are just going to start the recording on one of those mascots. Recording. Don't know if we can take both of them out in one go, but at least the weaker one should most likely get captured. Okay, so we did actually get taken out there. Noise. Speed down. That shouldn't change too much. Okay, recording failed sadly enough, but that's okay. That is okay. You know what? I'm just going to use a recycle tape for you. And you, on the other hand, how about a little bit of a toxic stab? How about a nice little toxic stab? 40% day base chance? That seems much better already. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice crit there. 100% chance. My favorite level of chance. Oh damn, you actually got it beneath 100 again. Ah, and we're up to 100 again, nice. And there we go, Muscatoy. Never seen a Muscatoy before. Want some sort of character costume? The Muscatoy is now closer to a shambling corpse. Ah, so it came here straight out of Five Nights at Freddy's. They are known to shamble endlessly in the abandoned house of Fall Down Mall. Their polyester stuffing slowly leaking out of their bodies. Smack and trip. Pretty high melee attack, very low speed, and not really enough health to back it up. If I wanted a monster like this, I could just use the one Eugene had, and I'm not using the one. Wait. Huh? Oh, another underground train station, huh? I wonder who built these. Oh, hello, traffic crap. Welcome, I've taken the liberty of opening platform A for your travel. Now, what can I do for you? Okay, should have just had it in here last time around, so I could have gotten back here faster, but you know what, you know what, that's still pretty good. Ah, is this a monster? Oh, those actually was a monster. The Bin Vader. And both of them are ghostly. This will be a problem. For those of you that do not know, Ghostly basically just prevents me from doing damage to them. So I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I guess the smartest thing is switch to monsters where it doesn't matter too much if they're losing health because you've only gotten them on the team right now so they can eventually evolve to fill out dex entries and wait out their ghostly status, try recording the Bin Vader on the last turn of it, and there we go. And um, in the meantime, yeah, there we go, a little bit of an elemental wall. Do you have something akin to the wall? I don't think you'll be able to flinch something when it's in incorporeal. Yeah, no, does not look like it. Does not look like it. Oh, and we still have multi-target, so multi-target still works for stuff like walls. That's pretty good, that's actually pretty good. Undertow. I don't think there's a point to it, but quite frankly there's not much of a point to anything I could be doing right now, so I'm just pressing buttons and my life has no meaning. Couple of hits here and there, call for help, and call for help failed. Does not matter, okay, they are both down to one ghostly, so I'm not 100% sure if that means that they are about to die, or if they still have one more turn before they do. This is a steel type. Hmm. Okay, this is for astral type. Okay, there we've got a fairy chrome tape. There we go. Recording. 30% chance. 40% chance is a pretty good start. Like, even oh. if it's not great. Oh, and even if the partner hits, that still works. I really do not know how this is gonna work out when the thing... Okay, there we go. Cool. Alright, so I guess it either we were just lucky there or either it killing itself with its own ghostly did help out. 
The invader appear to be a tentacle green being inside a combat vehicle that is reminiscent of a garbage can. It has two arms on its front. One for emitting deadly beam attacks and the other for aggressively prodding. Low. Spit and raise arms. Hey, I get it, raise arms. So there we go, that's another thing taken care of. Another new monster for the collection. You love to see it. But generally speaking, I do not think I wish to engage with too many of those ghosts. Oh, damn. Oh, and okay, looks like one of the mascotoys managed to catch up with me. One of the mascotoys actually managed to catch up with me, but considering that this is how the fight starts, I think we are pretty much good to go. I kind of should probably switch out this thing because our big dragon here is very strong, don't get me wrong, but he's more for longer battles. He's not that great at just quickly taking things out, even though he has preemptive strike. Swap him with, yeah, let's swap back to the drive thing. I would have thought that my own electricity would be able to do something here for me, but I guess it does not. I guess it does not. Would be a great place to film a movie. Maybe the monsters could be extras. I don't think they would be very good at receiving directions from the director. Hey, dashed into you. Ah, okay, so... That heals the water type. Gotcha, gotcha, good to know, good to know. Just one range attack to finish it off. Just a little range attack. I'm just attacking the wing gloom because I think if anything survives the wing gloom hit here. Uh, if anything survives my moth hit here. I don't know what my moth is called because I don't see the name of my own monster. Moth Manic, there we go. That thing is so powerful, I'm very happy with him. Ooh, and there's a breakable one. Aha! Ooh! What do we have here? A lot of stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Break all the crate. Every last one of them. Okay, okay, I see, I see what to do. Oh, oh my god, do I really need to pick up every last plank of wood here? I mean, I guess I don't need to, but... You know me, I am not someone to leave resources behind. No matter how tedious their collection is. There we go. Okay, come over here my two friend. And there we go. Opened the crate! Anything good inside here? Another chrome tape, life absorb, okay. Mostly garbage, but you know what? You know what? Even garbage can be good sometimes. Another man's treasure. It's another man's trash, or whatever that saying was. Okay. This is looking kind of creepy. What do we have here? Oh! Is this a monster? Probably. You're going to attack me, aren't you? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew this thing just wouldn't just stand by. Our kid! Alright, let's go. Let's fucking go. We are just going to attack the man. I don't think there's much I need to do here. Switch in Jormungald as well, you know? Jormungald is a very good switch in mo Oh shit, we are going to kill this thing before we can record it, aren't we? Dang it! I wanted to record the man. But you know what? It won't be the only encounter we are gonna have with our kid. It will be fine. It will be fine. Fine, perfectly fine. Also, why does like, an arcade have a raisable walkway? That doesn't seem all that productive, in my opinion. So, this here... Hmm. What else can we even do here, though? Wait, no, this is where we came from originally, so let's go back to the other side. I might not have fully explored that one yet. Okay, so is this the same entrance to the station or are we somewhere new? I'm going to be completely honest with you right now. I am feeling a little lost right now. The electric shack... Okay, there's 
part of a stairway here. I see a lever up there, so hmm. This doesn't seem right. Okay, so I still need to get up a floor for the time being. Close shots all around. A little bit of a chest there. Oh. Oh lol. It's funny that our first hit still goes through even when they are ghostly, so let's run just flee. I do not wish to wait this out for four turns. Well three turns. Three turns for that matter. Okay, so this is the room we've already been in, right? Hmm. Then I'm a little confused about how to actually get to the second floor. Like we did raise the walkway, yes. Can we maybe put the walkway down again? Like I feel like I should be down. Unless this changed something that I'm not yet aware of. Oh come on. Oh my god! Okay, that's a new one. I didn't see that guy coming. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, yeah, just just do the ranged barrage. Wait, no, this is not going to be that effective. I should just start the recording right away, shouldn't I? Let's just use a chrome tape. Let's just use a chrome tape on you. Recording. Because this thing is so low level that I kind of expected to just... Well, it didn't die right away, but we are at a 100% chance now. Ooh, okay, getting a lot of extra stats there. Still at a 100% chance though, so we've gotten ourselves a rat castle. I didn't see this thing coming, I'm not gonna lie. Red are towering creatures that somewhat resemble fairground carousel rides. The smaller rats that constantly rotate around the base of their bodies are that only to open their eyes the moment the creature dies. Huh. Interestingly well balanced. Okay, this ability is probably not going to be as useful for us as it is for a random thing. But it's a funny little design, it's definitely based on the Red King. For those of you that don't know what a Red King is, Reds do sometimes get their tails tangled up together and as you might be able to imagine it's not great for any of the reds. Most of the time it will just end up with them diseasing. Wait a second. Wait a second, did the purple one lead me somewhere new? So this is where we originally came from. This is where we originally came from. Then we activated this thing here, which raised the walkway. No way in hell we are going to get onto this. Now the electricity is out. If we now go back over here, Nope, no! Ah, god damn it. God dang it. Really wanted to save some time there, but I guess every encounter raises our affection level with the girl a little bit, so it's better than nothing. Boo! A little bit of spit here and there, and a little bit of a double kill on the other end. Look at this beautiful double kill. Goodbye, goodbye. Be good and be gone. Wonderful news. Even more pulp. I've got so much pulp right now. So, the where... So I think the blue one should lead me somewhere new right now. Is this a new area? Ah, yes, okay, we're definitely somewhere new now. Because now we've finally gotten a way up. And I intend to fully capitalize on that. Capital, my dear. Okay, we do have to get past the new boy. Okay, it's a bookshop, but I do. I really hope that was water I just stepped in. I don't know, do the monsters in this universe pee? Like in Digimon, they definitely did that, but 
I do not know about these guys here. I mean, they are made of plastic and stuff like that. I do not know if something like that would ever eat. There we go. Alright, so we've activated the lift. And you know what? I am going to use this opportunity to go back to camp and heal up real quick. Um, where is back to camp again? Okay, you know what? Before I run around, we're just going to teleport back to town and heal up for... Oh, wait, we are in the middle of a dungeon. Okay, where was the exit? No, seriously, where was the exit? Ah, this might be it. This may or may not be it. There we go, there we are. So let's have a little bit of a camp, a little bit of a night out on the town. With ah. our dear girl Meredith. It might be a bit morbid, but I do sometimes wonder if people from my previous life ever think about me. I picture some old colleagues sitting in a dreary London pub one evening asking each other, whatever happened to the Meredith Chen who disappeared off the face of the earth one day, never to be seen again? That actually sounds much more depressing when I say it out loud like that. Huh. I mean, we just triggered the next social event with her. So, who knows, maybe we are getting closer to getting to level 1 of our social bond, would be nice, would be fantastic. And, okay, so we need to go back to the electronics store. That was... oh, oh god damn it. Ah, it's you guys again. It's you guys again, yes, 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 echolocation and she's still going to run away. Lucky for me that they cannot stop me. This sign can't stop me, cause I can't read. So which store was it again? It's just the way through the Electro Shack. That's where I wanted to go. That's where my shortcut is. Whoop, ba, ba. You're not leaving without me there, Electro Shack store. If that is your real name. So, and let's, let's just check all of these. Why do I have a feeling that one of these is going to come to life when I check them? No, none of them. There's not a single doll-based monster around apparently, which is somewhat surprising to say the least. Okay, there's loot in here, but how do I get it? Okay, wait, I see it, I see it, there's a lever up there. That one is actually pretty decently hidden, considering that it's in, it's in plain sight. But hey, we've got it, isn't that noise, 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 noise! So, okay, so... We've basically exhausted all of our options in this direction. Let's check the bathing supply. Okay, this room might be the creepiest of them all yet, just because it's completely empty. Hmm. I feel like I'm... Oh! I understand now. I understand now. We need to go back and deactivate the platform. So this one will get raised again. Then we get up with the shot. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand. I have figured your puzzle out, my good sir. You do not need to worry, it has become clear as day to me what needs to be done. I like those little dungeons, it's nice to do a little bit of puzzle solving here and there. Okay, so lowering this thing. Going back, going back through it all. Through it all, through it all. So, and now we need the Electro Shack again to get back up there, I presume. There we go, Electro Shack is still open, everything is still running in the shack. Get up here, and now move over to the, wait, to the left or to the right, I presume, one of the two. Ah, well, okay, yeah, so we can't go past here anymore, so we should be able to go over there now. There's a lot of you around. I really don't feel like fighting you. I don't think you're giving me much of anything at this point anymore. And the fact that both of you, well, that one of you has a wall now, does not make it more enticing. Uh... 
Green vinyl bead. I guess it's the place. Should we go inside? Sure. Oh, you can just open that one. I was fully prepared to just look for some form of key or so. Must be around here somewhere. I'm so close. Pro Procgen. Ream of electric sheep. Sounds cool. Not the right record though. Some sort of soundtrack. I don't care. I don't think we are going to find it here. Tree man, legacy of the tree man. There are some weird records here. Mac and the awesome five. Mac to the future. This isn't it. This record has the witch house written on it in big what? red letters. Oh damn! Okay, looks like we've actually gotten it. You found it. Huh? Wait, something's not right. Timeless and strange. That's not the name of the album. This cover art is slightly different too. The track listing... I don't know <sighs> these songs. It's some alternate universe version! The one I wanted isn't here. I knew I shouldn't have expected anything Typical. cool to happen to me. Typical! Oh! Uh. Ah, and there we go. Ugh, what happened? Sisher, are you okay? The record! I dropped it. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. But I think it's angel time again. Looks like we are getting through all the angels today. So I doubt that this one is going to be much more of a challenge than the last one either. And we are back to full. What? It's another archangel! Again, it looks like something I'm not supposed to see. I knew it! I felt it! An emptiness! A hole where a heart should be! It empowers me! I wish to consume it all! Who are you? What are you talking about? The kind live such rich lives, but instead you trade it for hollow symbol and artifice. You exchange something meaningful for nothing. My castle is filled with all the emptiness you leave behind. Your castle? The mall? Are you serious? This place is a ruin filled it's with thread. Nothing. It is nothing! Yes, it is nothing. I'm the king of nothing. Come, let me consume your emptiness. Huh. Ooh, I really like his design. He looks like a Saturday morning villain from a cartoon that I would have watched as a kid. Honestly, he looks like he's related to the bad guy from Yellow Submarine. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. For those guys of you, for those of you too young to have seen, to have never seen Yellow Submarine, Yellow Submarine was basically an animated movie that was just there to promote songs that the Beatles wrote. Um, Yellow Submarine Villain. I don't know how the villain would be called in English. The Chief Blue Meanie. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Give me a second, give me a second. I just need to bring him up on screen. I think you will be able to see what I'm talking about. So there we go. Okay, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh, trust me, you ain't ready for this. You are not ready for this. Open the link in new tab. Wait, not the link in new tab. I just want to open the image in the new tab. And this. Look. Oh, wait, you can't fully see the villain, right? God damn it. Okay. I'll have to move my webcam again. And where am I moving you to? Let's move it to the middle for the time being. Let's move it to the middle. Maybe this one is going to be a better position. Okay, so you see this guy over here and now look at this. You can't tell me that those guys don't look like they are somewhat related. This guy, this guy. Blumini, nowhere monarch. It's even nowhere monarch, even sounds like something that could have been in Yellow Submarine. So fitting, huh. All right, so, 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 what do we do here? What do we do here? You know what, let's start with an raise arms. Let's start with the good old raise arms. Or, better choice, better choice, we are going to switch you for Southpaw Transform. And you are just going to set up your gambit as always. This is probably my favorite angel design so far. It's so easy. Oh, it's so easy to give up and just die. Oh, looks like we are about to fuse. But that's not me. I'm sick of letting myself down. This is Meredith past active one. No, I have not been able to do gambit yet. Hey, but we've got a cool monster. 
Well, I mean, we've got... Oh, wait, we can just use dog ears on ourselves. You know what? I am going to use dog ears on myself real quick just to power up. There we go. I do kind of look like a Digimon. Oh, oh, okay. Looks like Movie Hit is actually going to be useful for me right now. Wonderful 7! You cannot escape the wonders that are the 7! There we go. Hit the little guy as well. Oh, did we put both of them to sleep? Nice! Noise, noise, noise. You cannot get away from my power that is the wonderful seven! Look at this, look at this. Inflicting all the negative abilities on you. This is a very practical combination of skills to have right now. And you're trying to sleep talk. I'm just going to spam wonderful seven, I think. Like, I don't see a reason why I would not just spam wonderful seven right now. The only thing that has me considering doing anything but Wonderful 7 right now would be to reimburse my gambit with more dog ears. But why would I? Why would I look at this guy? These guys are nothing. These guys are as good as that. And you know what? To finish them off, Acorn Mortar. There we go. Goodbye, Nowhere Monarch. Okay, and now let's, let's, let's move my webcam back to where it used to be, because quite frankly, I do think, generally speaking, that over there is a better position for it. Maybe I should move it to the bottom left. I have been considering that. We did that. it. We did it. We are alive. We fused? You know what? This is a good opportunity to test the bottom left. It's not a bad spot to be in. It does cover part of the character designs whenever they are talking, but I don't think I'm covering anything too important here. Maybe I'm just going to uh, to be here for the remainder of this, see how bottom left corner works at the position. The stamina increased by 12%, you can now glide for 4.5 seconds. Ay! You wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand, path most long. East your wings must fly, for that is where my chambers lie. Venture there, and head north bound, where your wayward path shall lead. Okay, we are getting there when it comes to the song. She is getting stronger by the minute. Hey, mm. and there he is. Nice place you have here, pal. But someone of your potential could do a little better, don't you think? Oh. I remember you, and I really don't know how you found yourself down here. Okay, I mean, he's taking more and more yeah. notice of me. Uh, I realized that this was a really trivial thing to come all this way for. And a really stupid thing to nearly die over. You didn't have to do this. Thanks, mate. I think I've had enough of an event more than mortal peril for today. Come, let's go back to town and check this record out. Hey! Uh. So, the whole fusion thing, felt like we should uh, talk about it. Why do all of you make the entire fusion thing awkward? It's pretty cool, huh? It's certainly something. It's like our minds merge and I'm no longer me. Yes, we are basically going for a Digimon approach there. Like something along the lines of Omnimon, right? Wait, no, Omnimon didn't actually have the kids involved. But I think some of the later fusions in either season 3 or 4 had them involved. Because, don't get me wrong, I know season 4 was the one that was all about the Digimon, uh, the, the Tamers being the actual Digimon. But at the end of season 3 they also fused. And, well, the Tamers with their Digimon. And I do try to remember here if there was ever a case where any of those fused Tamer Digimon fused as well. Afterwards, while I can remember it, it doesn't feel like it's something that I experienced. It's like remembering a dream. Maybe our brains just aren't equipped to process this. Had you uh, fused with anyone before? This sounds so... <laughs> no, you were my first time. Of course I fused with someone before. What do you think I am? 20? <laughs> Not that's a big deal if you have. I, I just wasn't sure if that was your first time. This is... 
coming out all wrong. It sure is, Meredith. Uh, yeah. Forget I said anything. There we go. Um, I've been meaning to ask. What makes you sure that you have a way to return home? I had a vision. You uh, gonna have to tell me the full story here, mate. Huh. Huh. That's pretty wild. I'll uphold my end of the bargain. You help me find a record, I'll help you find a new way of new oh. viral. Oh, I almost forgot about the record. <laughs> this is pretty good. I mean, it's not the same album I used to have, but it's familiar enough. I spent my teen years being very miserable and bad with people. When I went to college, I wanted to change for real. The record was kind of the soundtrack to me, like trying to change and get better. Not that I did. I almost made lifelong friends, but they don't speak to me anymore. Maybe because you got transferred to a different dimension, that might have something to do with it. No, oh, it's me who's the problem, but I want to keep trying. <laughs> Maybe that's what the Archangel meant. Maybe I've spent too much time distracting myself with stuff instead of trying to actually live. But even if we didn't find exactly what I was looking for, I'm okay with this outcome. You didn't need to risk your life to help me. A lot sucks about new viral, but you're kind of cool. cool. Oh damn! Oh no! She's starting to have feelings for me. Look, Meredith, I view you more as a friend. Quest completed. All I ever needed. Hey. Okay. Fusions you form with Meredith now have plus five percent added strength. Um... Let's go. What do you think the deal is with the triangle bloke then? I don't trust anyone with a geometric shape for a head. Generally speaking, good idea. Triangle bloke, Bill Typha, no third example. All of them bad guys. Oh, you wanted to ask my opinion on a lead you're chasing. Go on then, what is it? Venture there and head northbound, where your wayward path shall meet. It sounds like it's pointing in their direction, I guess. Hmm. Guess we better get back to adventuring. Didn't you hear some rumors about something happening in Cherry Meadow? Might be a good place to check it out. Might, it might, but I do want to try to keep the get the land keepers thing knocked out first. Because that's basically the last one I've gotten in my RC. And you, my dear friend, you Jean, you are going to be the one who is going to come with me to take care of that. So what kind of party mods do we have right now? Oh right, you had the Nevermod. You had the Nevermod. I mean I still... Oh wait, 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 oh god, I do need to switch them back. You have my dry things right now and trust me, trust me when I was uh... saying that I do want that. Like this thing is too good to just leave it on an inactive NPC. Um, You could have the dive eel for now, I don't see myself needing that anytime soon and now you can come with me Momentous. so take a quick break here yes because i need to accept my storage do we want to take any of the new monsters with us hmm or you know what i do kind of want to bring the pond walker just because I'm curious about it being poisonous. The Masked Toy, I'm not happy about the stat line. I have been considering the Ice Pack. Or maybe I'm just going to stick with what we've got right now. Where's the mouse? Where's the mouse thing? That mouse thing looked pretty calm powerful. There we go, the Rat Castle. Like, that thing had pretty crazy stat. Oh my god, I need to put something into the bin first. Uh, this is one of my main complaints about this game. It's so obnoxious that you cannot put stuff that you do not do that you do have on your main characters in storage. Like just move something else up to the player ta the, the player tape slot. This is just a little bit of extra obnoxion that this game doesn't need. Like, don't get me wrong, there isn't much obnoxious stuff in this game overall. I think this game is very well made, but this is just a light, small little annoyance that doesn't need to be there. Okay, so we've got the red cassel with us. Check tape. Edit stickers. Unshakable heroic blade. That's a pretty strong hit. Brittle Blast, Zoomies, Shield Bash. 
I mean, it would give us a steel move, but we already have that on so many. Copycat could be pretty good on this one, considering that its stats are pretty evenly balanced. Icebreaker hits one target, lowers the target speed, you know what? This thing can actually learn a fairly significant amount of different moves, that's pretty cool. Bone Cannon, Chopper Copper... You know what, let's... You know what, let's just give it everything, let's give it the Shield Blast there. What does Peekaboo do again? Lower the target's accuracy. Yeah, definitely not. This is a bad sticker overall. This is a very bad sticker overall. Also, where's the music gone? Spit, Elemental Wall, Unshakable, Heroic Blade, Wallop, Brick Blast. I mean, I guess I could use Heroic Blade. Now this thing might have a little bit of an ability point problem, but for the time being, let's just leave it like that. I don't know if this thing is ever going to evolve. Because it kind of looks like a one and done kind of deal if you ask me. But we might as well give it a try. So I would be surprised if we didn't have enough movement abilities now to get to that last hideout the vampires have. I don't even know if calling it a hideout does make sense there, but... Okay, where would be the closest point of traversal? I guess we can just try to swim over. Oh! Hey, it's a static raid! It is a little static raid, so let's flee. Okay, I'm also starting to feel like the actual battling doesn't really impact us that much when it comes... Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe I can actually not swim there. Because I don't see a way up from here, so I might have to do this slightly different. Uh -huh. All seer encounter. I mean, I have to fully evolve to all seer on my side, so you really want to do this? Ah, but looks like Shiny's theory or a strategy is right. Oh! There we go, alright, so this is how we get up. And the question now is, can we... Ah, there we go, okay, we just needed to be able to magnetize. And now we've got the wind here, okay, okay, okay. We are making it, we are making it, and there we go, that's how you... Br oh god. Okay, let's try this one again. Can I just drown? Can I just drown? Because I'm pretty sure drowning is going to get me up there faster again. God damn it, because I had a little bit of a pit stop on the other one. Okay, but the good thing is I should be able to glide over there, so it's not an all is lost kind of deal. And fly again! Try again, fly again, and enter the thing again. Hello there, good people! Hey Mergin, how are you doing? If you don't, vacate immediately, we'll be forced to evict you ourselves! Okay, these one people aren't. I still haven't found where to get the pawn dead. Like, I would have assumed that the pawn dead would be somewhere in there where the monsters were. I'm not making much sense. In the dead city, there's a lot of ghost type things down there. But looks like it wasn't the pawn dead realm after all. We're doing a little bit of an earlier stream today. We are doing a little bit of an early one today. A little bit of a change of pace because I was home alone anyway and I was like, you know what, might as well. We might as well. And hit him with the wonderful seven! Oh damn, that's a pretty strong hit there. Are you... Oh, you're not defeated yet, but this might change in a moment. <sighs> Wait, why did I not... Oh, you deactivated my multi-hit. Oh, damn, though. That's the... Okay, that's the evolution of Pawn Dead. I'm very happy to finally see that one. Now, that's a lot of damage. How about a little more? You want to see a lot of damage? Just you wait for my Eugene here doing stuff. The tri thinks is insane when it comes to damage. It might not have looked like as much, but considering that this thing doesn't have defense down, I'm pretty happy with the damage number here. And... 
shield bash to finish it off. Speaking of a lot of damage, how about a little more? Mm -hmm. Attempted free of Pantheon. Wait, attempt free of Pantheon by heaven. Wait, did you actually defeat it in free attempt? I can say, alright. Alright! They didn't stand a chance! Okay, is that quest line now done? Side quest, planting the seed, don't you want me? Acting on your best behavior, find and clear out all the land keepers associate of it. Cleared five, four out of okay, unknown officers. So we do not yet know how many there are in total. Absolute Radiance does a lot of damage and I got destroyed. I'm impressed that you even got to Absolute Radiance. Like, you got further there than I ever did, I can tell you that much for a fact. Pure Vessel Grind flashback. Ah, you can do this. If you even manage to get to Absolute Radiance, that's already insane. That's farther than most players will ever get. You miss a payment at your home, we'll freeze your assets, will you now? Ah, and you've gotten one of the ice packs. You have actually gotten yourself a little bit of an ice pack there. Can you even survive here? Like, how would you be surviving this? This is defense down. <coughs> Followed by an energy drop. Here we go. Beat an absolute radiance under tune once. Ah, so you definitely have the skills to pay the bills. Then it's only a matter of time. Ouch, now my assets are far. There we go. Getting rid of every last one of those vampires. Oh god damn it. It doesn't. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean it means that you can definitely do it in regards to the raw skill, I would say. So, rogue fusion battle. Oh! Dive seer. Okay, so that's just the small ones. And not drive things. So as always we are taking out the drive things first. Do I want to gambit this? Like I don't really have great moves to deal with dry things. I'm still going to gambit it though. I can but I'm nowhere near consistent. Ah, consistency will come with a little bit of training. Repetition is key. If you just repeat it often times enough, you are basically good to go. Oh, and have a little bit of a spit at you. You know what? Spit the drive. Spit the drive thing. Okay, good damage there. Good damage there. It's going to take me a lot of attempts to even get consistent. The platform phase hurts me inside. A little bit. Absolutely fair. Like, a lot of dot fights can hurt you a little bit, and it is absolutely fair. Wait, why is the drive thing still here? Oh, because it hasn't fucked off yet. That would be an answer to that question. And another lightning bolt to finish the job. And a sonic boom in case anything survives. Oh, okay, I guess we're not even going to get to the lightning bolt. We are not even going to get to the point of lightning bolts. How nice. How very, very nice. Okay, so let's teleport back to the city. We only wanted Eugene for this one very specific niche thing. And let's switch over to a character that actually still has new things. Hey, and another rumor. <clears throat> Someone I knew who scavenged wrecks in the cast of Iron Shore told me he saw Captain Hatter on an island way off in the west. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I had no choice other than going westwards anyway for a while now. Party. What do you have equipped? Yeah, I, I thought as much. I thought that you might have something that I do not wish for you to have right now. So, you are coming with me, oh. Felix. And we are going to teleport. Guess that is actually our closest point. Or we try to make our way over through here. Hmm. You know what, let's just see how far we can go if we are going the city route. Because I haven't really explored this way. Loading the rest of the world, there we go. The rest of the world has been loaded. Okay, so there's two things we could do here. We could just go for a swim, or we could go for the land route. Here, let's use the land route for the time being. Big majestic river. Magnificent river. 
upper path, okay? Upper path to what? To where? To which I might wonder. Okay. Okay, I think we are basically in the middle of bloody nowhere right now. So if I'm going to get over there, it will be through the waterways. And I guess the waterways include these things over there. There's still a puzzle here, but I don't quite know yet how to do this puzzle. Like, do we just have to get a bunch of crates over here? Okay, it's these things. Ah, oh, I understand. I understand. There we go. That was easy. I basically figured that one out by accident already. Ooh, okay, another haunt. Haunt is a pretty interesting skill. Hey, you, fight mm. me, I want to know how strong the people around here are. Black Swan events are major historical events that come by surprise and change everything. But all sorts of stories, Fas fascist uprising, pandemics, global war, runaway climate change, ecological microplastic catastrophes. <laughs> Imagine a world in which they had all those things at once. How doomed they would be. Hmm. I also started to just do bosses on Radiance because Absolute Radiance is pain. Absolutely fair. I mean, doing stuff on Radiance is the best kind of training. You have no choice other than to get better at them when you do this. Lost Kin was intense gameplay. A lot of people do kind of struggle somewhat with Lost Kin, which does come as a little bit of a surprise to me because personally, I never had much issues with Lost Kin, and I am far from the best player in this game. And the game being Hollow Knight in this case, not this one here. But I guess it's just my playstyle. I do have a very balls to the walls kind of playstyle, where I basically throw every kind of safety precaution to the wind and just go for it constantly. And considering that Lost Kin is one of the squishier bosses, those are the kinds of bosses that are usually weak to my playstyle. While tankier bosses that punish you taking more risks more consistently over extended periods of time are usually the ones that I struggle with more. That's why Lost Kin was always easier for me to do than Soul Master, for example. <laughs> Holding Crystal Dash for multiple minutes in a row while my Weaver's kill or skin is very hard. But without Weaver Song and Defender's Crest, I feel pain. Ah, okay, so that's how you do it. You know what? It is a strategy. The Shark Man War of 2023. They really should have seen that one coming. Huh. So, where am I? Where is anything here? Doesn't look like I can go up there. So how about we go through this here? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think I've killed you already. Yes, yes, yes. You were the one that was like, ah, yes, my seals, my seals, seal deals, or something like that. So where am I even supposed to go down there? Is there something down there? I think I once have found a rogue fusion down there, but is there anything else? Okay, loot apparently works for me. I could have probably not glided into that one now that I think about it. You know what, we're going to swim for a bit. Hey, and there is another way up. Alright then. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a gym trainer. Uh, not a gym leader, a ranger captain. Oh, okay, those are two new monsters here. Oh damn, okay, I've definitely found the area that fits my level now. Um, how about... I'm pretty sure I'm not going to kill these guys anyway right now. I'm not really a fan of this thing here, because it basically constantly needs to set up first. And the things you get for your setup don't really feel all that worthwhile. I also started, as you could have guessed, by Lost Kin starting uh, over charming for Radiant, different charms for different bosses. I mean, if you are not doing by the Radiant attempts over charm, then what even is the point, in my opinion? Like, Radiant attempts, you're getting one shot anyway, so might as well go for the over charm. Water filled tape, there we go. Let's see if we can get ourselves Recording. a weird little frog. 
nothing. I also started to guess by a lost king. Oh wait, no, there we go. But yeah. Overtiming yourself for the fifth pantheon, I would not recommend that, but generally speaking, overtiming is a very useful mechanic. It starts without overtime, just to keep my time going. Right. It's nice practice. You know what? Fair enough, fair enough. I guess you're using it as training, not just to get the radiance knocked out. A pet pole's mature state. A pet pole. I don't think I've ever encountered that monster yet. The fruity pet's limbs allow it to hunt for food. They can often be found hiding by the edges of ponds in the lake. If someone or something passes by that the fruity pet deems edible, it will attempt to snare it with its long tongue. Really bad was put in storage, so you should be out. So let's see, let's see if we can get ourselves a nice little plant as well. Yeah, that one. Okay, I don't have anything specific for you, so we're just going to use the chrome tape. Good old Google chrome tape. There we go, that's a good chance. But there's also a mostly the easy boss, like Massive Moth Charger. I love Massive Moth Charger as a boss, because you can actually kill this boss during its first attack if you know what to do. You probably know the trick that I'm referring to, but those of you that don't know it, Massive Moth Charger is a giant thing that does two things. Either it jumps you, or, like the name suggests, it charges you. And whenever it charges you, you can hit it, and unlike most other bosses, that thing suffers from getting knocked back whenever you hit it. So, if you time it right, you can basically just keep smacking it backwards during its first charge, uh, therefore making the first charge never end and drain its entire health pool during that move. It's so funny. I don't know the trick, I just don't do the thing. Fair enough. I like doing it because it really speeds up the fight. Well, the kicks were once crudely made target practice damage, but have since gained sentience. Through unknown means, lacking any complex limbs, they are forced to move and attack by pivoting on the wooden stakes that run through their bodies. That sounds like a pretty painful existence. Okay, I am curious about using this thing in all honesty. Like, this is an interesting monster with its high defense stats and nothing else. I could see myself have fun with this. So let's bring this one to an end. Oh, how the hell did we miss that guy? How the hell did I miss that? I do know the trick, I just do the thing tank moment. Does Bomb care about the tech stats? Honestly, I don't know. It's been a while since I last had something in my party that was, a uh, was uh, using the bomb. Because a lot of the time, most of these things do just have melee attacks, so the bomb does not really work out that well most of the time. But maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I would have to find out myself. It does have an attack value, but I don't know if it was just for the first application of the bomb. And hey, looks like we found ourselves a campsite, isn't that nice? I don't have anything with the bomb on me right now, so I can't really look it up for the moment. Um, swap the tape in for the Moth Maniac, and you know what? Southpaw, you do have another chance here. Okay, so what do we have here? I still have not figured out what those little ritual altars are all about. Ah. This perfect human being is all human beings put together. It is a collective. It is all of us together that make perfection. Why are there so many Greek philosophers yeah. in here? Plato, I exhort you also to take part in the great combat, which is the combat of life and greater than every other earthly conflict. Huh. Okay, I guess it's time for us to take out some great philosophers. I'm just going to use Smack on, on Southpaw. Enemy Galg on South. Oh! Okay, that's the first time I've seen enemy traders fuse. That's a big surprise there. That's a big surprise there. Like, we've fought fusions before, but this is literally the first time that Rangers do a fusion thing. 
interesting, very interesting. No, dog years time. Time to commit the dog years crime. Even though it will increase the length of time that we are going to suffer from the burn as well. Which isn't great. Okay, considering that you... I do have a bad feeling about this right now, if I'm completely honest with you. Because the thing about this, the thing about this is... You know what, let's do a bite attack. Or do we have anything better? I guess I could sharpen first, set up for some more stuff in the future. Yes, more AP boost, but considering that you have not used any of your AP to begin with, might as well not care too much about this. Galapaw. I mean, you're not really using the fact that you are using the big thing. I don't know what to tell you, it's just not working out. Oh, you know what? Let's use Shield Bash. Shield Bash should negatively affect your cosmic side of things. And... Copper Chopper? I mean, it does not make much difference. Woo! Nice little hit there, nice little disturb there. I do wonder why this thing doesn't use any attacks right now. At least not any good attacks. Ah, there we go. Fusion power. Ouch! That one hurts! That was a lot of damage there. Jeez Louise. Okay, so Southpaw is knocked out. I will have to heal after this battle. I guess Hopskin can try to do something for once in his life. I guess we are just going to go for another shield bash. I don't think the care damage is going to carry over considering that this is a fusion. But we might as well try. Oh, okay, so I guess if we defeat the fusion that the others have, they just fall apart afterwards. Interesting. Poison pollen. Huh. Thank you. I thought that it could beat you. Now I am truly wise, because now I know that I know <gasps> nothing. We are philosophers, Socrates, not fighters. Hardly any human being is capable of pursuing two professions or two arts rightly. Okay, I'm just going to leave you two to suck each other's stick a little more in the meantime, while I am going to go for some nice little camping time there, and let's go. Fun fact, there wasn't really oh. a word for bisexuality back in ancient Greece and stuff like that. Mostly because bisexuality was kind of the default state of being. It wasn't the big separ separation we had these days, but for most people it was completely normal to go after both genders, even though marriage, of course, was only between men and women as well, as far as we know of today. One of the ranger captains was recently asking me about that life uh, what life was like for me before I landed here. They were born and raised on this island, they haven't known anywhere else. Their parents met after washing up here. They wanted to know about things like trains, shopping malls and sport teams. A whole bunch of basic stuff that I guess I never considered someone here might grow up not knowing about. So what life isn't complicated here, but at least people can still grow up happy. It is very interesting that we do have people just being born here as well. That's definitely one of the most unusual parts about the entire situation here because most of the time when you have a game like this where you're stranded in a mythical world and stuff like that you are the first people to be stranded in said mythical world ah, okay just open up the gate works for me but in case of this game oh what do we have up here what are you little boy Okay, that's a dog. It's a friendly dog. After extending your hand to let the dog sniff you, you check his collar. His dog's name is Barkley and there's a miniature tape recorder attached to his collar. There's no information about its owner other than a 22 digit telephone number. Barkley must be stuck in New Viral too. Ooh. Barkley's looking after Cliff whining. He must want to go up. Won't move from this spot. Perhaps if he had some way to take him up the cliff. Ooh. I do have a feeling that this thing will become another of our, one of our partners. The fact that it does actually have a cassette player on this collar is very suspicious. Ah yeah, this is the lamp that just gets the guy down. 
I'm very surprised this guy just keeps going back up there. Don't know what to make of this. Whee! Okay, so can we climb this? Ooh! There seem to be very different monsters up there. I really want to get up there. Dog. Dog indeed. Dog indeed. Okay. This thing, I'm calling it now, will become one of our NPC comrades. Most important quest. I mean, I'm trying to get up there, but I don't really see a route right now. I mean, I guess we could have a look around the cliffside. Might as well. We are exploring right now anyway. So maybe we will stumble across something that I've missed before. I know I was in this area yet, but I didn't want to go too much further just because I did not want to go past the point of no return. Okay, so there's definitely no... Oh, wait. Huh. Okay, so still no way up the cliffside, but we found a little secret catch, so that's nice. I've been up there already, there was one of the captain fights, but nothing more. So if there's a way to help the dog, there is this door back there. But sadly, as of right now, I don't have a way to get in there. But I guess the dog quest is not doable for the time being. I do have a couple of ideas what we need to do. Either we need a new... Ah! Now we are talking! If you cannot go under the in the mountain over the mountain, try to go in the mountain. But for the time being, just kill the elf cake. Let us just kill the elf cake. You know what? We're just gambiting it up and we are smacking the man! There we go, there we go. Look at these stats. Look at those stat downs. Gambit is a glorious move. I'm a big fan of Gambit. Like, usually, I would not like a move like Gambit as much. But the thing that really makes it work in this game is that all these buffs and debuffs are getting reset after combat anyway. So you are kind of motivated to just finish the combat in time. So your Gambit's debuff does not actually take the toll on you. Because for those of you that do not know about this, Gambit actually would kill me if it ever ran out. So, big shield flash, there we go, big damage numbers, that's so much defense down already. Okay, and you should be falling apart right now. Okay, did fuse with a 12 kick. I kind of assumed that those would both be monsters that I've already seen. Okay, let's just try to wipe both of them out. Not really like I know who is going to survive this one, and the answer is none of them are. Sadly enough, this means that we cannot go under the mountain, at least not for the time being. Hey, got a couple new things here. This was just a one room entrance. What do we have here? Cherry Meadow. I mean, I wanted to be here for a quest anyway. Oh god, camera, camera, please stop doing that. Huh. Okay, still no way up the mountain from here. But what is this? Alrighty then, we found a half sunken ship. There are a couple of very big things that end up in this country, I do have to say. New viral is fascinating like that. Hmm. Oh, and back to the Maya Sea. Back to the Maya Sea. I have a hunch that the monsters here are much stronger than us. Wait, okay. So I guess we are not supposed to go there just yet. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? Okay, they are not much stronger than us, but I did not see the Undines coming. I am willing to admit I did not expect the Undines. Okay, so you know what? I don't know what you are all about, but I'm switching into Mob Manic. Probably going to be able to double electrify them and have a good time that way. I feel like I can go all out without killing those. 
Does those don't seem like the kind of monsters that are easily killed, especially since they are higher level than I am. So Acorn Mortar is going to do a fair amount of damage here and so will Lightning Bolt. Okay, and Acorn Mortar is not going to do any damage whatsoever if it misses. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, no, those, those the gals are tanky. Jeez Louise. I'm lucky that I have my multi-target electricity. I kind of want to put one of them on my team. They seem pretty nice. Oh, and you've actually taken out my big gal. That's a surprise. And let's bring Jormungald in. Nice little preemptive strike on you. And there we go. So we do need to do a recording. And you know what? We are using the chrome tape right away. And you, my dear friend, are going to lightning fall. What's our default chance? 72% default chance seems pretty good. There we go. And even more damage and even more damage. Okay, that should take care of everything. Quite literally everything. 100% chance. As long as he doesn't do too much damage back now, we are good. Yeah, there we've go. We've got ourselves an undying noise. Undyned appear like ghostly apparitions rising out of the shallow water of the cast iron shore to ambush any unlucky soul who approaches them. Legends say they were born from the vengeful spirit of a bride who was murdered and thrown overboard from her lover's ship. Hmm. Does mean this must happen quite frequently considering that this is its own monster category. It's always interesting with these monsters that have this unique backstory of how they were first created and then you have to consider, okay, so does this mean that happens frequently? Oh god damn it, another one. I can understand why this area is a little more on the difficult side. Toy hammer, maybe. I don't think plastic does much to water types, but we might as well see. Yeah, no, this is not much damage at all. Corroded. Oh, yeah, but you are good against me, which isn't great. Going to be real harsh and honest here with you, fam. That ain't great. Okay, and we've got you poisoned. Ah, poison points, new spore, water coating. I kind of hate that paint swipe can only be used when I've got a coating active because I would like to use it as a plant move but it isn't a plant move as soon as I've got a coating active. So I'm just going to poison the second one as well. And you, I guess, are going to switch over to Moth Manic. In fact, I should have Moth Manic out and about while I wander around here, considering that I will most likely keep getting ambushed by these things. I got a little bit of a healing leaf going there. Also, I really need to get rid of that mushroom. That mushroom proves over and over again how useless he is right now. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this fight might be a little more than I can handle. This might be more than what I bargained for. Okay, nice little hit there, nice little hit there. Making my way through. I do like the way whenever I trigger conductive with a multi-target hit like that. Okay, oh wait, no, Mothman is still alive. And Mothman is out. Mothman is indeed out, which is a shame. Can we put you to sleep? Nice, okay, you are asleep now. You have fallen prey to my sleeping abilities. You are going to get ditched from the team as soon as you've, uh, you've evolved. I really just have you on the team to get that little bit of extra. I mean, maybe I should actually use you a little more on the team. You do have semi-decent stats and you know, who knows, maybe once you're involved, involved, evolved, your stats will be even better. Okay, you are pretty close to an evolution actually, I think. I think it's five stars is when I can remaster you. So, ah, that's why I started with you, the try things was out. So swap you in and swap the hop skin in. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. 
So, let's activate the first button. Okay, doesn't look like the first button did much here. Does not look like that button did a whole lot for us here. Oh, 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 okay, I see dry land. And quite frankly, I think I should try to head back to dry land. Hey, look what we have found here. Look what we have found here. Question is, ooh, one of those poison thingies. I still need those. Okay, first things first. Let's have a little bit of a look around. Because I... Okay, there's a campfire down there. There is a campfire down there. Because I really need to heal. Well, do I really need to heal yet? Okay, no, you know what? I don't really need to heal just yet. So I can take care of a couple of those trainers. Maybe capture the poison thing in the meantime. And then go and heal. Hey, and we did the... Oh! Okay, so it's not a good idea to hit Earth types. Hmm. Do I even want you in this fight then? Yeah, I think this is better for Southpaw. And you, on the other hand. I don't know if Terry Stance will be all that worthwhile here, but we might as well give it a try. And the, okay, Perry Stance just negates all of the damage. That's pretty good. That means time to slice and dice a fool. We should be able to just take out the Sansa time with the defense down. Yes, I know it's only a smack, but come on! It's a defense down smack. There we go. That's what I like to see. Time reduced? Oh, time reduced is a good thing in this case. Alright, works enough. Works for me. Works for me. And a big bite. And a big bite to follow it up. This is taking far too long right now. I wish we could speed up. Well, maybe you can speed up the animations now that I think about it. Maybe I should take a look at the settings. Maybe you can increase the speed of a couple of the animations. The thing is, I don't want to speed up all of the animations. Just those extra <laughs> hit reactions from do additional things. Because those usually don't matter too much. So where? Ah, there he is. There he is. Weird little poison dude. There we go. Oh! Bloody hell, those are Yormung gold! I didn't even notice those were fully evolved. Okay, so you know the drill, you know the drill. First things first, activate Deja Vu. Secondly, you know what, Parry Stand did me a good favor last time around, so I don't see a reason why I shouldn't just do it again, because those are both good melee attackers, by the time I'm Well, I guess Yorman Gold can do both. Hey, there we go. Okay, I should probably hurry it up with getting Jellied and captured. Skeleton looks like he's about to kill himself. So let's start a recording here. Let's start a recording. And... Sadly enough, I don't really have great moves up right now to get this thing. Okay, we have 100% default capture chance. That doesn't seem half bad. Unless, of course, our recorder gets killed beforehand. Yormung Gold might be the bigger issue here. Oh, okay, yeah, that, this does stop us from recording anything. Okay, now we might be in deep shit. Okay, so the gelatin is just a goner, but at least it's not a rare one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't wonder, can I switch over? Okay, I cannot switch to the tape that you are using. So I guess I'm just going to take a bite out of you. You are setting up for deja vu, fair enough. But considering that you barely have any attack power right now, I don't think there's much of a point to that. And smack the man. Yeah, that's why we don't do the parry stance right now. Oh, shit. Okay, well, you got me there, I'll admit it. I will admit it. Southpaw is so quick. I would be surprised if Southpaw couldn't. Okay, you're calling for help. Why? Hey, and there's another one. Maybe we can capture this one. Nope. 
we cannot capture these kinds of summons. But lucky for us, we don't need to, because we've gotten through this. Whew. Okay, but now go and heal up, because jeez Louise, I do not... No, 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 I do not like that all of you are circling me here at my little camp, so let's rest up. 41 oh. wood, Jesus Christ. You think these monsters around here are afraid of fire? Notice that they don't seem to attack us whilst we're camping out. Or uh, maybe, maybe it's just bad monsters to, to attack humans when they are resting. We will never know. Both of those could be equally viable theories. Ooh. And there we go. Finally got ourselves a Rip Terror. The anatomy of the Rip Terror is not easily described. It barely has a body to speak of. Instead, more of a tangled web of claw tipped limbs, haphazardly bound together beneath a stained trench coat and head. Ha! Huh, that sounds unnerving. Jesus Christ! 200 melee attack and 170 speed. I'm honestly considering just leaving this thing on the team. Everyone knows it's true to attack humans while they are resting. I mean, that never stopped humans from doing it. <laughs> Check tape. Edit stickers. What do you guys think? Do we want to keep this monstrosity on the team? Oh, Step in the Dark is a fun one. Step in the Dark would be interesting if we get the other one first. What's the ability called again? Damage based on ranged defense is higher. I mean, it is higher, but I mostly would like melee attacks on you. And this is melee attack. Hmm. Hard to say right now. I mean, if I'm taking this guy with me, I probably should give up on Southpaw, because they're fulfilling similar roles. Okay, not for the time being, I'm actually going to bench him. Why am I benching him even though he seems pretty good? Well, very simple, because I still have a lot of other stuff that I want to evolve. So put you in storage and get something else that still needs to evolve. Like, what do we still need to evolve? Send the time. You know what? Now that I think about it. Okay, change of plans. We are adding sense of time to the party. Then we can actually put Southpaw into storage. And now, now, no, 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 now. Now we will be able to put Rip Terra into the party. There we go. That's the way we do it. I do... Is that the right sense of time? Yeah, this one has dog ears as well. This is the only non-dog creature so far that I've found that can actually use dog ears. And you in the meantime, my dear sir. I kind of think you want... Well... Maybe you still want this. Jump scare caused the target to flinch. Maybe. Bite. Definitely. I think I don't want clobber. Like that's a little too expensive for what it does in my opinion. Hits each member of a team multiple times. Maybe but... Let's peel it for now and let's put a couple of new stickers on there. Ray shield. Sharpen! Yes, oh my god, sharpen was exactly what I was looking for. Call for help, no elemental walls, mech shooting star. We already have bike. Heroic blade. I don't think you should have heroic blade and bite on one monster. That sort of seems like overkill. But there can be a point made of ditching bite for heroic blade. I would like Stab in the Dark, but Stab in the Dark only works with a certain other move. Battery. Hits one target twice. Lands critical hit if used after charge. Interesting. Delegate. Revenge Strike. 
Ooh, you know what? Revenge strike on a monster with this high of a melee attack sounds great. Also, I want to know if revenge strike can trigger when parry stance is active. And last but not least, hmm, why not try roll again? I kind of want to get rid of jump scare, I think. Because I think sharpen kind of fulfills a similar role and this thing is supposed to just kill. But if I can give you a couple more... That's a ranged attack, so uninteresting. This is a melee attack though, so... Probably good enough. And you know what, for the time being that should be fine. So, you know what? Swap the tape in. We want to do this. Yeah, let's do this. This will be an interesting one. Also, I think Sansa time might be able to evolve. I don't know if it actually is, but I do see a decent chance that Sansa time might be able to evolve. Aha! Found something. Found a little treasure. And a little bit of combat. Oh! Oh lol, it's the evolved form of the Valros. Oh, wait, wait, is that the evolved form? I think that's the evolved form. Ultra Scubalros. I guess that means it's a fusion of two Scubalroses, doesn't it? Okay, for the time being, we're just going to spit and smack because I need to be able to use both the moves next. Ow! Jeez, Louise, that one hurt. Okay, I might have to do a little bit of a change of plans here. Because all things considered, this type matchup doesn't really work out for me. So, you know what, let's bring Moth Manic in instead. Moth Manic and you know what, the brush room can do something for the time being, so it will hopefully evolve soon. Should hopefully not be too strong. Okay, I stay hopefully not too strong and it rips through. Oh, that thing is level 45. Oh, Jesus Christ, I only just now noticed. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, can I get an elemental wall out? Elemental wall would. This is a problem, guys. This is a big problem, guys. Jesus Christ, this thing goes hard. Um, okay. I mean. Might as well bring Rip Terra and Yormung Guard in. Cause what else am I gonna do? I haven't I have barely learned to put a dent into this guy's health pool yet. Sharpen doesn't do much here. Heroic Blade is probably the way to go here because I don't know if I'm going to survive long enough to do much else. And Toxic Stab. That that's all the damage the Toxic Stab did! Toxic Stab is basically my best move right now! Mm. Okay, okay. Um, another Heroic Blade and... Do Multi Smack to keep it poisoned. Oh wait, it's not poisoned anymore actually. Wait, no, it is poisoned. What am I talking about? And Heroic Blade, there we go. Oh, I don't see myself surviving this fight. This guy just rips through my entire team in seconds right now. And this guy hasn't even split apart yet. That's the really horrifying thing. Like, even if we manage to overcome the Ultra Subaru's form, there's no way in hell we're getting past the rest of it. Acorn Mortar is just not going to be fast enough. But there's no point in doing this. I mean, you are going for Felix here. So... Ah, I shouldn't give me false hope. Should not give me a false sense of hope. Because yet, we were able to finally take down the Skubal Rus. But that means we still have to deal with two more Skubal Ruses. So it's like, ah yes, okay, hmm. I mean, I can do an Acorn Murder and actually use one of my Rewinds on the Tri-Things. 
got Acorn Mordor is the only thing I've gotten that has a chance. Okay, if I can land another Acorn Mortar, we might be able to take it down. Maybe if I do a little bit of item spam here, this might actually work. This is the first time I've ever really used items in this game, but alright, we are down to just one scuba row, so I feel, I feel like we can actually do this. Okay, nice little hit there, nice little hit there. Just keep on Acorn mortaring away. And you know what, you know what, I'm just starting the recording right away. I am just starting the recording right away. Aircon Mortar is going to hit for sure this turn. And we can do another one next turn, so in the worst case scenarios I'm just been tossing out another one. I just don't need you to hit Felix right now. Okay, you're not hitting Felix. You have defeated my last monster here. And we are still doing the recording, so that's great. Rad. Hey, we actually got the scuba rose. That's glorious. The helmet of the scuba rose has grown sturdy brass tusks, which allow them to fend off attackers. Having developed hind legs, they are also much more capable and dangerous on land than they were in the image of the eel stage. Dive eel stage. That's a good defense and it's a good range attack on that one. Can't see anything about that. Ice resistant, ice breaker. Torrent hits each member of a team multiple times. Oh damn. Scuba Rose was put in storage. Okay, problem is... I guess we can just try to mountain smash the man. Should probably bring it home. Let's see. Come on. I killed no eyes on Radiant. Well done. Hey, and there we go. And we actually barely survived. Whew, that was a challenging, challenging one. Let's go back to the camp. Because I need that camp. Right now, if any of you touches me, I'm dead. So let's stop. The exact moment it killed me, I got the Radiant win. Oh, close one. I do like those close ones. I did have one of them where it didn't count before because the death animation of the enemy took too much time. But I also had some, uh, some of them where I still got it because Grimchild killed the enemy afterwards, which was kind of funny. But congratulations, well done, well done. You are working your way through there. Slowly but surely. So, what do I still have left to do here? Oh, right, there was a couple of things I needed to do up there. What is up with that? What is up with the little swamp over here? Oh, and who are you? This is a weird area. I mean, I still need one of those toxic guys, but... Oh! And I got attacked, there we go. Not that Grimchild is actually all that good, but it is Grimchild. I mean, of all of the summons or rather that, that help you in combat, Grimchild is actually the best one. Like literally, Grimchild does do 50% of your nail damage. And I think it even scales with stuff like unbreakable strength and, uh, and so on and so forth. So if you actually just want a little bit of extra free damage, Grimchild is not that bad. The main reason I stopped using Grimchild was actually Umu, because if you try to do the Umu boss fight, Grimchild just gets you killed. <laughs> I don't know, can he do something like burying the poison type? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Proceed to meet every target you wanted to hit. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it has to learn. It's still a child. Children make mistakes from time to time. Okay, I don't think there's much of a point in me actually doing anything other than wiping both these men off the map. I think it just killed it. Did it kill itself? No, it barely didn't kill itself. You want to heal while the boss is staggered or prepare a bit? No, you're not allowed to. No, no, no. Oh, damn, that's the first time I ever got that world wonder. I think that was the Colossus of Rhodos. 
There we go. Send the time. Got the clover ability again, and we've got another leech for. Wait, can we evolve him? Oh, god damn it! Hey. I want to be Sibyl's interviewee today, so I guess that's the next ranger captain. Hey, and there's a new gelatin. There is a new gelatin. So you know what? You know what? The gelatin might actually be the main focus of this. I do want. I don't think it's going to run away when I just kill the trainer next to it. Well, I guess it's not really a trainer. I guess it's a ranger. How do you call the guys that are not rangers in this world? Is there kind of a be all end all term for them? Oh damn. Oh, you did not want to do that. Trust me, lad. You did not want to do that. So we're just going to do a toxic stab here. That should probably be enough. And follow it up with a mountain smash in case she has anything else left in petal. Uh, uh, nope, she doesn't. So, okay, yeah, the combat just continues. We can mountain smash gelatin. I hope that does not. Okay, we might just kill the gelatin. Yeah, the gelatin is just gonna be a corner. My bad, my bad. I wanted you, but there will be another time. There will be another time! There will always be another time. Uh. Maybe I'll we'll come back tomorrow instead. Yes, yes, yes. So, where is she? Oh, there's another campfire over here. Do I need it? No, not really. It's very cu curious that two campfires are this close to one another. Oh! oh I guess this was an ambush. <laughs> Mysterious woman! This country shows no kindness, Come. stranger. Come, let us match these beats in number. I don't know who she is, but I like her. I kind of think she's a captain. And ooh, what do you have there? I guess that's the evolution of... Is it the evolution of the scarecrow looking ass? Hard to say. Hard to say. Did you just... Oh, you, you erected a wall. Oh, are all of those just going to do poison walls? I mean, if all of them are going to do poison walls, that's actually not too bad for me, considering that my dry things has a 50% chance to go past the poison wall. So we are going to do Gambit, and you are going to do Dog Years, and we can finally do our cool combo. Our cool little combo. Okay, we're going to double the poison time as well, which, once again, not great. I might have to just get the ritual started right away, though. Because at this rate, I'm not going to live for all of the 8 turns of Gambit. Otherwise, otherwise... You know what? No. I'm just going to Sonic Boom the entire situation. And in case, in just in case, we are going to crumble it. There we go. Okay, pretty close to death. Either I'm dying or Stream is dying. It's most likely me dying. Um, I mean, according to my OBS, we have zero dropped frames right now. I doubt that Shiny is still here. He probably started streaming on his own by now. So I don't think we have anyone else we could ask if Stream is dying. I can try opening it up on my end though. So you might hear me twice for a brief moment. Give me a second. Give. Okay, on mine end, everything seems to be fine right now. Oh damn, we actually have three viewers right now. Oh damn. Usually I do hide my viewer numbers at any given moment because I do think it is kind of bad to focus too much on viewer numbers at, uh, while you're streaming. It is good if you're aware of your analytics, but it's better to take a look at these things afterwards and not in the middle of the bloody stream. You know what, let's shield bash this. Yes, you are going to die. Why did the crumble not work? Oh wait, no, the crumble did work, you don't have anything anymore. Sadly enough, you are going to die, but that's still very much fair. There's a campfire next, right next to us. Noise. Oh, and preemptive strike for Rip Terra. Wait, could we put several preemptive strikes on that? That would be cool. <sighs> you would do 
you would do well to leave before these fiends return. You surely have no reason to remain in such a place as this. <laughs> that was a pretty dramatic fight. Can you at least tell us I your name? I am Viola of Messaline. Okay, that's a pretty... I don't know where Messaline is for sure. I'm no fighter, but this land has thrust such a role upon me. I do not wish to trouble you with my burdens. Are you on a quest? <sighs> my brother and I were both cast to the seas. If I have not drowned, perhaps he too came to rest upon these shores. Been searching for some weeks now. A kind soul gifted me this curious device with which I may protect myself. If you hear word of my brother, Sebastian, my camp is just east from here. Fare thee well. Okay, brother Sebastian, there we go. Hey, you're alive again. Nice to hear. And as always, my nose is itching, so find Brother Sebastian. Hey, and we've got a couple new things. So, let's take a look at the party. I mean, we've only lost dry things, so I don't think there's much of a point. Wait. Oh, we couldn't equip it anymore. That's the reason. Smack. It's one target. I kind of want to get rid of Smack, because I would most likely just start up with Sharpen anyway, won't I? Or, the, or Chopper Chop. Because Chopper Chop isn't great. Yeah, let's get rid of Chopper Chop. And instead of Chopper Chop, we are going to put... Where is it? Where is it? There we go, automatically hits one opponent at the start of the battle. Once again, really want to see if I can put several of those on one monster and then just go to town on the motherfucker. And swap that in, there we go. So, what do we have here? Ooh, wait, no, that's just the usual guy, that's just the usual little guy. You know what, I'm just going to fight you. Oh, a folklore, I haven't gotten that one yet, that's good, that is very good. Preemptive strike! Nice little damage there. Hey, and another preemptive strike. And there goes the contact damage. Noise. So, 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 so. Parry stance. Why can I. Oh, wait, there's my sharpen. I was confused for a moment. Like, why can I not sharpen? Why can I not sharpen? You, on the other hand, you get hit. Well counted my progress. 26 Radiance, 5 Ascendance, 13 Attune. I mean that basically more than, yeah that's more than half of the enemies on Radiant already. Well done, well done. You are getting there. You are definitely getting there. And... Okay, let's just try the superheated fist on your Armon Gaul to see if we can take him out and smack the Fall Claws a little more around. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on! How did you miss there? How the hell did you miss there? I know his evasion is up, but you really should not have missed there. I'm just going to use... wait. Heroic Blade on Folklord now, and we are going to record him. I'm pretty sure that he's going to do the job. Recording! I would be surprised if it didn't. And... Bite! Ouch! Okay, as long as not uh, as both of those... Oh, you know what? No, that's actually pretty bad. Okay, now we are back to good territory again. We are back to good territory. Oh, damn! You almost had Felix killed there. And we still got the Folklore. Nice. That is excellent news. Okay, so now I definitely want to heal those. Okay, pretty even stats. Pretty even stats, Brad. Also, I did notice that I still... Hey, and we triggered roll again. That's so nice. Wait, with smack? I thought I unequipped smack. Didn't I unequip smack? Nope, I didn't unequip smack. Okay, fair enough. So, let's rest, because I think one of the things should be able to evolve. So, can someone evolve? Yes! Brushroom can evolve, and we can finally put him back into the box. Your Brushroom tape became Fungog! Okay, that's a very funny name. <laughs> okay, that thing also has 
very high melee attack, considering how inadequate an attacking it used to be. Galleon is annoying. You think so, because Galleon is one of the easier ghosts, in my opinion. You just need to get his little um, scythe blade to bounce back and forth and back and forth at the same rhythm at which you strike at him. Not hard, just pain. Fair enough. I mean, to me, the only two ghosts that are really pain are No Eyes and Markov. But, I mean, Markov being pain is like saying, oh boy, I do like breathing a lot. Markov is just always pain for basically everyone. At no point in my life have I ever encountered anyone who went like, ah, yes, Markov. Oh boy, do I enjoy that Markov fight. Van Gogh has combined the art of combat with the art of calligraphy. Its movements are swift and effective, incorporating strikes from its paintbrush staff with discipline and stanthas. Ayy. So, back to the box with you now, Van Gogh, because I really do not wish to have here anymore. Put in storage. And let's add, you know what, I hate Gloxley, but we are going to add him because he's pretty close to evolving as well and then we're just done with him. Just don't want to own him anymore. So far, I... Are you one of the ranger captains? Greetings. Oh no, it's you, Viola. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay, so at least we found you, Viola. What's this? Huh. I guess this will just allow me to swim. Hey, yeah, you know what? This is actually a shortcut back to the city now, I think. Like, look at this. If we can just swim over here. Oh, and we got attacked by a regular pawn walk. I mean, we do have the poison pawn walk already. And I guess now we don't get a chance to capture him after all. You were a little overzealous there, Ripclaw, but I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Okay, how could you... why couldn't you do it the other way around, huh? Ah, yes, Markov. I do enjoy myself a good Markov fight any, any time of day. Because who wouldn't enjoy a good Markov fight? Signed Markov. Yeah, that sounds about right. That does kind of sound about right. So, so, so. Okay, so we can go back through here again. But this is a very useful shortcut to have, because... Now we can just teleport back to the city and stuff like that if we don't find a campfire. There's a couple of beehives up there. You know what? This is a good enough opportunity to turn to attack, take these guys on. Can you kill the Ger German gold, please? I do not. Oh, double the preemptive strike. And the revenge strike. Does it trigger my revenge strike, though? I see we are very evenly matched. Oh no, okay, we found ourselves in a revenge strike cycle. Okay, Jormung Gold and the Claw had a little bit of a smack off there. But it seems they have come to a conclusion. That conclusion being that my Rip Terror is still out on top. There we go. Goodbye. That was a funny little one. It was a funny little interaction there. Okay, so gelatin, gelatin, jelly, jelly, gelatin. I'm not going to make the mistake again. We're just going to heroic blade you and immediately start the recording. Because I've seen you guys a couple of times now and I still don't own one of you. And that's downright criminal. There we go. You still get to do a move? Bone cannon, okay, I doubt that you're getting beneath 100% there. Yeah, there we go. Bad. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's actually a human skull. Gelatins form an unlucky pawn that has fallen to swamp water and can't get out. Over time, their bodies break down and reform as beings mostly compromised of smooth toxic slime. Supposedly, this slime makes for a great fertilizer. Huh, that's a very high ranged attack and a very high speed. What do these abilities do? Liquid body prevents the user from being inflicted with burn, but makes all incoming ice and lightning attacks critical. Interesting trade-off. Changes to poison an opponent automatically. Wait, cha chance poison an opponent automatically upon melee contact. Okay. Very interesting there. Okay, the so Rip Terror was actually defeated there. But that's okay in my book. 
We finally got ourselves a gelatin. Actually, our best cherry is coming along nicely. We could probably go report back to the scientist, but I do wish to explore a little more for the time being. Oh, wait, we might actually be able to evolve Clocksley, but we are not able to evolve Sensor Time yet. So let's just bring in the Mothman. The good old fashioned Mothman. So, what do we have in these swamps of ours here? A lot of strong unions, that's the fair fact. If we can find one of the pawn dads here, that would be nice as well. And we found ourselves a big rock. I don't know what that big rock is all about, but we found it. No, you ain't getting me today. And um, what is this here? Why do I get a feeling that this is one of the masters? Hmm, how do I get up to you though? Yes, that is the question. Wait, no, is that the naked merchant? This might just be the naked merchant. Reoccurring character naked merchant. I don't know how I'm gonna get to you while you're up there though. You don't seem that interested in selling me shit. Wait, another thing. No, 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 I did actually clear that camp up there. Did I? I think I actually did not take on the office up north, so that's something that's still left for me to do. Oh, we might be able to get a pawn dead up here, considering that there are pawn dead statues around. No, no, no. Please pay no attention to me. Okay, what do we have here? It's a cute pumpkin. Hello. Um, is it a wild monster? Oh! Okay, Cluckabilly! Alright, that's a wild one. Did not expect that one, to be honest, but what can you do? Um, raise arms, yeah, let's raise arms, and you, you got you smack. Have a little bit of a knot there. Melee down. I mean, okay, melee defense down is probably not as great. But all things considered, should I start the recording already? I've got a feeling that if I don't start the recording okay. now, I am going to end up regretting it. Yeah. Alright, I was right about my assumption that those guys would take a lot of damage there. That's huge. I should call my Mothman here Markov, shouldn't I? Like, usually I don't tend to rename things in games like these because it does help me to actually memorize their names. But since I don't see their names while I'm using them anyway, might as well give them a couple of names. Cluckabillies are defined by their antisocial attitudes. The severity of their angry clucks is so great that they can create small shockwaves. Oh damn. Oh hot diggity damn. Cluckabilly was put in storage, there we go. And now get out, get out. I'm still not sure if there will be a second island, because the things that we've heard so far did make it sound like there will be an island to the east, but at the same time, the thing about an island to the east is maybe that was just what it sounded like, because the actual order in which you encounter the archangels doesn't really matter and you will start slowly unlock parts of the song here and there. So we'll have to wait and see. Oh, who are you? Oh wait, no, you are my literal partner that I've got with me. And who are you, my dear lady? Hello! Mary's Piper. Hello, it is nice of you to visit us out here. Are you staying for a while or just passing through? Eh, uh, just passing through. Hello! Hello, friend! Have you come to sort out our jelly problem? Well. Jelly problem? Well, this bridge just over there connects us here on the farm to Harbour Town, where provides most of the fresh produce to that power that the town consumes. Unfortunately, the local jelly creators have gotten a bit rowdy as of late and have gumped up the bridge. No bother though. I'm sure they'll clear off eventually. Feel free to rest here in the meantime. Mm, can we do something with this? Oh! Mega Jellyton! Alright, so we can do something with this. That answers the question. Multi-targets not going to do much here. Raises the units with ranged attack. There we go. And have a little bit of a smackdown. Ow! 
Okay, I don't think I'll have much time left on Markov. And yet I'm just going to call him Markov now. I am just going to call him Markov from here on out. Okay, poison ball. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Crumble doesn't really change much here. Hmm. Okay, we're doing it like this. We're still energy shooting. I could... And just going for another hit. Just going for another hit. Okay, looks like we do act. Oh, wait! Because you're faster than me, your wall is gone. Should have gone for better moves. Should have definitely gone for better moves there. And there goes my little hourglass friend. That's a shame. But you know what? Yormongol time. Yormongol alone might be enough to take this one down. Yep, there we go. There we go, preemptive strike is as always doing it a good favor. Okay, so you have one last turn on which you have used, uh, or rather in which you have both multi-hit and the other one. So I will enjoy this. I am going to enjoy... Oh, you know what? Multi-hit does not seem all that useful anymore now, but we still have extra range up. Didn't quite kill. But we are still going to bring this one home. Jormungold is so fast for something with a giant metal plate for a head. Woo! Goodbye, goodbye, gelatin. And there we go. Wonderful news. So, that should have solved the bridge issue. And giving us another point of connectivity Thank as you. you. Thank you, friend. Not beginning to worry about the whole situation. We use Skelly Jelly to fertilize our plants. I suppose it might have built them the soul and farm that creature. So if you want to try using the jelly to make some crops grow, be our guest. Okay, make some crops grow. Yes. Remove from inventory Skelly Jelly. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I love him! I love him. Okay, he's going to go on the team. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the little lad. You can't tell me you don't love the little lad. Oh, oh. Okay, so Cluckabilly, you need to go and we need that jump in in our party. I don't even know if this thing is... Okay. Speed up. And a P boot. Oh, if you can put this on a partner as well, then I would be more than interested. Okay, you wipe out Clarkabilly, and you hit Jumpkin with Wonderful Seven. We might be able to get past it. You seem to be a supportive type. I appreciate that. I appreciate. I would like a new good support monster. Range attack up, there we go, and wonderful seven! Okay, so we did get stuck on that one, but that's still very much okay. We're just going to start recording because no way in hell am I gonna miss out on Jumpkin. Let's see, let's see, Jumpkin, base chance 29%. See, I think it should be higher because look at this happy face. He wants to be with us. You can't tell me that this guy doesn't want to be with us. 64% chance? Ah, no, 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 this hasn't failed. This hasn't failed. We've only postponed our success. That's what's happening here. Failure is just a postponed success. That's how we want to put it. Recording. We have another recording. And... Okay, three, what does that do? Ah, yeah, right. Random ability. There we go. Come on, come on, give me my jump in. 100% chance. There we go. Rad. Hey, look at the little lad. Oh my god, I love him so much. Jumpkins are created when a jelly from a gelatin is smeared on the regular pumpkin, giving it sentience. The jumpkin is a curious, friendly being that seems to never stop moving. Considering that it is so friendly and curious, it did start attacking me pretty fast. Oh, and a new ability. You can now hold LP to climb up walls using sticky vines. This consumes... <gasps> This might be the ability we need to 
Wait, wait, wait. Does that mean we do need to be somewhere where there's already a wall? Uh, uh, okay, try again. Something on the wall? Or does that mean we can climb everywhere? Guys, we are going to be able to get to the dog quest now. Ooh, the dog quest is underway again. But first things first. I've lost quite a few monsters by now. So I should probably go to a campfire. Lucky for me, there is one right over here. Camp here, let's go. So let's do a little bit of a rest. Have a little bit of a rest. Being out here with only five warmers, it reminds me of summer camp. Or it would if I ever went to summer camp, which I didn't. But this is pretty close to how I imagined summer camp would be like as a kid, so I'm happy. Getting closer with the lad. The broken tapes have been repaired. Hey, and we can evolve both of those. So we have. Ooh, Forty Wings. Okay, that one looks pretty cool. I like the mask it has now. When it sounds that time gets enough sand from the environment, it can reconstitute itself with a much more powerful body. The Forty Wings is a hulking figure, able to move its heavy sand body as if it was light as air. A punch from a Forty Wings carried the weight of an entire sandstorm. Okay. Jeez, okay, pretty good melee attack. I like it, I like it. And Clock Slay, are you not going to be useless anymore? Robin Dam! Robin Dams are keen shots with their plastic bows and arrows, and are able to accurately strike a target with a suction cup arrow from 300 meters out. They pride themselves on their keen aim and their keen sense of justice. It still has pretty. I don't know, it has a very high ranged attack, but the other stats don't impress me too much if I'm completely honest with you. So by that logic, Robin Dam put in storage. And from storage, what was it called again, 12 gig? No, that was another one. It was a plant time. There we go, Jumpkin, add to the party. We need Jumpkin in our party. There's, there's no way around that, my friend. So, anything else? I mean, I guess... Wait, first things first. Let's take a look at the 40 wings. Let's check the tape. We have a couple of empty slots there, so... How about we put stuff on said empty slots? Window allows range attacks to hit the target through walls. Nah. Smack. Astral Camouflage. That could be decent. Glass Wall could also be good. I do like... Like, what Glass Weak to? I think Steel Type. Hmm. Okay, this is a ranged attack that can be based on ranged defense if higher. Astral, ooh, Astral Wall sounds good. Okay, yes, let's put Astral Wall in here and... And this would stop us from getting turned to glass type. So that could be useful. Hmm. Yeah, for the time being, I'm going to give him grounded just so he cannot be transformed into a glass type. That sounds decent. And with you, Jumpkin, you have two empty slots there. Got Doctor Leaf, Life Absorb, New Leaf, everything leaf related. Do I have all of the ones unequipped that I might need? You know what, um, let's go back to my tape storage real quick because I kind of want to peel all the stickers of the Blossom more. And you know what, let's peel all the stickers of the Capricorps as well for the time being. Because I want to see which of those work on the Jumpkin. Jumpkin yeah, raises the user speed and AP generation. That sounds pretty good. 
Like, I don't care much about the speed, but the AP generation, that's pretty insane. Hot potatoes, new spore, leech seed. Okay, so we do have leech seed on you as well. Life absorbed, recovered an amount equal to the damage done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean, let's put the leech seed on you. I don't know yet if pumpkin pie will be all that great for him, though, if I'm completely honest with you. Like, it seems like pumpkin pie could be good later on. Do we have dog leaf already? No, not yet. Let's apply dog leaf. Leech seed, pumpkin pie, and a regular smack. Once again, we are going to replace pumpkin pie for now. It could be useful later on, but for the time being, I would rather have blood donation as you. So this guy is basically almost exclusively a supporter right now. But I do like the idea of him being a supporter. So swap the tape with 40 wings. Although I do want to see 40 wings in action as well. Also, we do not know if he has a chance to evolve. Where was this guy again? Somewhere around 50 to 80 was his number, wasn't it? So let's see if there's a chance he might evolve. 40 wings is the final evolution there, that's for sure. I don't see him. Oh wait, there, there he is. Okay, so there's nothing near him as of right now, so... Who knows, maybe, maybe, baby, there is actually something onto that. Okay. And up. being able to traverse like this now is insane. Hey, hey. Oh, we found another captain. I didn't expect you to be one. You're listening to Cybill Radio, 24-7 coverage across all of New Viral. We're live from the West Coast with our new trainee ranger, Sichiro. <laughs> The talk behind closed doors is that Seishiro is a talented fighter in ways of monstrous combat. What do you say, newbie? Shall we treat our dear listeners to an oral battlefield experience? Alright oh, then. Yeah. Fasten your proverbial seatbelt, listeners. Here's an exclusive live performance. Alright, what do you have for us? Ooh. I don't know what kind of monster that is. Never seen that one before. So we're just going to go for the good old-fashioned raise arm. And start by putting a leech seed on you. I love Jumpkin so much. How could you not love Jumpkin? Look at the little factor. There we go. Got the leech seed out. And put the secondary leech seed out. Oh, you can force me to transform. I was wondering about, okay, what are you going to do with that ability? You know what? Fair enough, fair enough. I was like, okay, I, I do not intend to do that anyway, so works for me. But apparently, apparently that does not quite work like that. But as always, you know the drill. Oh, we do have Sandstorm equipped. You know what? That sounds good. But I don't think club ability... Wait. I thought I was going for Clucker Billy, but maybe I misclicked there. Maybe I did indeed misclick. Sandstorm! Ooh, yeah. Nice little grounded effect there. Change the record. Could you stop switching me around? That's not great. But I guess the leaf seeds are doing a decent amount of damage to you, so I am not going to complain too much. And uh, let's start with Deja Vu. I feel like I need to set up here finally. And I don't have a great move to kill Cluckabilly, but I am still going to do it. Why am I going for Cluckabilly right now? Because first things first, I think Seabill might just die anyway. There we go. And I feel like we are going to cut the amount of enemies in half if we just take the Cluckabilly down. Oh, and now you've changed both of us around. And almost killed yeah. yourself. Battle is heating up. Will your beloved host prevail? Or will victory go to our plucky underdog? 
there we go, Saibu is going... I'm not so surprised that she has a siren, I'm more surprised that she doesn't have the evolved form of it right now. But that's okay. We are just going to go for electricity all, electricity all around, together with an AP steal. Double these AP... wait. Oh, you don't... Oh, wait! You have all the abilities right now because of all the switches. That's so confusing. So does that mean I hit everyone twice now? Oh, but I can't afford it anymore. Okay, that's a shame. Would have been glorious. That would have actually been glorious. Lightning Bolt! And a mountain smash while we're at it. Look at that. I don't think you are... Well, maybe she has more than two creatures. So far, most of the ranger captains only had two, but maybe, maybe... We are getting to the point of the game where they could have several of them. Brilliant. Nope, apparently not. Nosk fight. Oh no, what did the Nosk do to you, my man? I sit in the left wall until Nosk decides to come wow. visit. Wow, what a performance! Our listeners loved it! Here's your payment, of course. Hey, and we got it. I'm missing one of the earlier ranger captains, apparently. Assuming that they are in order. <laughs> I used to be a real Rising Stein radio. It's not been the same since I ended up here. I'm sticking with it though. Every day I broadcast across new viral and hope that someone, somehow someone from beyond the island will and... receive the signal. And maybe then they will come and rescue wow. us all. Enough melancholy! Is it fantastic in our battle? I see a promising future ahead of you. Here we go! And also, also, I did notice that we had a lot of this olive oil stuff, or whatever that was called. Yeah, olive oil. I can just level up seven times, like, right now. I, I don't see a reason not to use it on the protagonist. That's literally the character that's gonna be there every single time. So why would I ever not use it on the one character that just sticks around at, in any moment? It's so dark that I don't even know if Nosk is on the edge of my screen sometimes, lol. <laughs> I mean, it still seems to work for you. I mean, I feel like I keep repeating, it still seems to work for you. Because a lot of the time you keep describing very weird situ situations to me when that you're using out for your combat. Because, once again, I'm a boss to the boss kind of player. I just go for the face of the monster and I keep going until either it or I am dead. But you seem to kind of try to cheese the game more than I do, which is funny. Ooh, I might actually want to use the upgrades at some point, but probably for... Oh, wait. Wait. Are you the naked vendor or is it someone else? Yeah, it's the traveling merchant. Take a look at my catalog, won't you? What do you have? A stronger version of New Leaf, so absolutely, since considering that I have a... You know what, let's take two of those, in fact. Grants one extra AP at the... Oh, that one seems insanely powerful as well. The tape apparently made from 100% recycled plastic. No... Shrapnel damages the target each time she transforms. You know what? Why not? Don't think that will be as useful for me, but still nice. So there we go. Naked merchant is done with. Oh, how the hell did you see me from all the way over there? What? Landkeepers are being unfairly accused of racketeering. We don't even like sports. I guess that's true. Hey, look at the little guy go. I love how lively his animation is. That's just so nice. Um, yeah, you know what, let's do the raise arms and... Is there even a point in me leash seeding you? I do've got a, I've got a feeling that this will be over quick anyway, so I'm like, what am I even doing this for? I mean, yes, you are leeched now, great, Grant. And it is going to heal us a little here and there. But other than that, what else am I going to get out of this? So you are getting turned into glass. And let's set up another leech seed just in case anything lives. Well, which he didn't. Does he have anything else left? Hard to say. Hard to say. I'm wondering if we are ever going to get to the point of them having full teams. That would be interesting. 
So let's have another round. And in the meantime, in the meantime, how about you have dog leaf? Oh god. Okay, yeah, you know what? You killed me. You killed me there. I am deceased. I am diet. And so will you be in a moment. Ow. Okay, you've almost gotten Felix there, which I'm not too fond of. Let's be ringing the rift, Terra. If we're going for the weird coated man, which there are apparently a lot of, I guess it's you assume the scam tire is the evolution of this new pin. There we go. One man down, another man left to go. And that man will go only one direction, and that direction is down! Oh, you used the wrong ability, goddammit. Well, it still worked out. Still worked out there. There we go. Love yourself a rip terror. I didn't pay much attention to what I just got. So you you just get out of here. Ah, can I get over there on top of the building from here? Probably. If I just do this first, there we go. And let's have a little bit of a flyover, shall we? There we go. We have the right monsters equipped. I mean, there's no harm in starting with Mothman. And I think I would rather have... Yeah, you know what? Wop the Yormung Gold in. Wop the Yormung Gold in for starters and let's take the next guys out. Hello! Such growth with a regulated housing market. There's no need to fight progress. Let's go. Ah, and there is probably going to be the other way of the evolution path of the Bishop Pawn thingy. So, echolocation is already active. Do I want to raise arms first? Yeah, let's raise arms first. And then, do I wish to multi-smack? No, I think setting up the Deja Vu AP steal is probably going to be our primary target. Ow! Arms have been raised. You are going for smacks as well. All the nice little smacks all around. And lightning bolts for everyone. Every last one of you. I think we could potentially get the Scampire locked down with our AP theft here. So, ah, the second one missed. That's actually a problem. Dang it! And now you've got my moth, man. That is actually a big problem there. Oh, sheesh! Yeah, that's not great. Um, can I still win this? Zero percent chance to flee. Um... Okay. Not great. So my stronger character is down and I'm left with nothing but my sidekick. Okay, you turned ghostly, which is once again horrible. Because it means you will alive. Well, I can only focus one of you anyway. So I might as well focus the one that still is hittable. If I still pull through here, I would be surprised. But you never know, Try Things is an insane monster. Try Things is actually a quite insane monster. So who knows, who knows. The highest chance of loss is if they actually just killed the trainer or if they had a lot of stuff still in their back catalog. Wait, why are you not dead, Scampire? There we go. Please don't have any backup monsters. Looks like the Landkeeper 2 still has some backup monsters left. And he killed Felix. Ooh, yeah, those one, those did get us hard. Those did get us quite hard. I think that's the first time I've actually hey. really lost the battle. <gasps> ah, you're awake. You're lucky you had your friend here. There we go. Hey, and we're getting a couple of re re rewinds. That's one of the funny mechanics about this. The game just goes like, you know what? Have some healing items on us. You dropped a lot of shit right now. Have some healing items. 
So let's take a look at what hmm. you guys have. It's one target. Do you have anything uncommon? Hits the whole team and destroys walls. I like that one. Let's take it. Pretty expensive, but why not? Do I want another mountain smash? Not really. Damage roll. Power 9. The user rolls a 20 sided die. Damage is multiplied by the number of the die. Oh! That's kind of funny. You know what? I like that one. Let's pick this one up. This is kind of funny. I do like <laughs> the randomness of it. So what do we have here? Random starter. Chance to automatically use another move at random for 0 AP at the start of battle. Okay, but it's just a chance. How high is that chance? Chance to automatically use the next move in the list for 0 AP when the user lands a type advantage here. The chance is reduced in proportion to the move's normal AP cost. Wait. I don't know what that means. Plastic camouflage, echolocation. Well, wait, no, echolocation I could <laughs> actually use with, uh, deal with several of. Like, echolocation is insanely powerful, so there we go. And lastly, you, do you have anything for me? Not rare. Lowers the target's melee defense. Priority, chance to use at the start of battles. Nah, it's. Cool, I guess, but I'm still not really feeling it. So, let's check in with the rangers real quick. Hello! Wait, I could do the training stuff, but that doesn't do much for me right now. Hello! So, what have you gotten for me? Miniature refrigerator. I could go for some extra points. You know what? Yeah, let's go for the extra chance of recordings. No need to buy anything else here. And I guess we could look in yeah, if she's showing up. There we go. <laughs> and if we installed speaker throughout Harbour Town, I could broadcast music to the entire town at once. Think about it. You're always talking about community spirit. What would unite our wonderful towns with more than a shared oral experience every day? Uh... I don't know, Sibyl. I suspect the townsfolk around here have quite a diverse taste in music. I could see it being a controversial mm -hmm. decision. Hmm, I see hey. a point. Hey, I never said it was off the table entirely. I'll tell you what. If Skip manages to dig up some intact hi-fi speakers one day, I'll propose the idea at the following town hall yeah. meeting. That's the spirit! And there we go. Nice. Wait, did we...? Oh, right, then we can actually give you your stuff. Greetings. How many different speeches have you recorded out Goodness there? Gracious. 68? Thank you. Thank you for your work. Here's some compensation for your time. There we go. 70. Pretty close to 70 there. Also, also we can put a couple of saplings in there. Um, let's put a couple of lavenders up in here. One lavender and another one. There we go. Oh, and there's even more out here, I've only just noticed. Uh, I kind of want the red roses because they kind of work with the flowers that are behind there. Also, also now that I look at it here, we can go for a little more diversity. Pale arches we haven't had so far, and a leafy bush. Why not? Why not? Have the market stand be the one place where things are a little more simplistic in a sense. I think we are at like half of those little bushes right now that we need to plant, right? Already done everything up there. Oh, and what quest do you have for me? A ranger buddy of mine told me about this moving signpost on the lake. They speculated if you stand the buttons in the right order and follow all the signposts, it will lead you to treasure. Apparently, others say it just takes you in a big loop. I thought I've had already heard that one. Put the sapling here, yes, yes, yes. Um, let's do cherry blossoms and pale orchids right next to one another. There we go. Anything else in there? No. Never know, you can never know. 
because sometimes they have those gardening kits in the house as well. Doesn't look like that's the case here though. And I don't really like the leafy bush too much just because it's very bland. Hey! And the herb saplings have been planted! And which house was that gal again? Was it the first one here? It was one with three extra doors afterwards, so... Needs to be some... Ah yeah, this one. Hello girl! I've got your bushes planted. Oh, you're done? I think it's better to say the town's looking a little nicer Thanks. now. Thank you so much. There's so many choices to make. That was practically frozen. Here, take this in return for your help. Oh, a little bit of experience. How nice. Little bit of experience there. The music is so sleepy in the town. I don't know which quest was up there. Wait, let's take a look. Oh, seems like I managed to perfectly circle around everything that Felix wanted me to find. Everybody's looking for something. Find Viola's brother. Wipe out more of those. Okay, so I still kind of need to have Felix with me. But it is nice that we've got the bridge up and running now. So it should... Oh, wait, I can actually just climb up there now, can't I? What do we have here? Another hot potato move. Oh, how nice, how nice. Wait, did I... I think I have one of those cockerels already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have one of those already, no reason to check it. So there was this meditating man up on his rock that I still need to find. It's either gonna be the captain or the merchant again. Oh, okay. Now it's just the button. Huh. I thought, wait, what was this where the merchant used to be? Somewhere around here was the meditating man, but maybe I'm mixing things up. Or maybe that was the merchant, I'm just a little bit of an idiot right now. Could always be the case, you never know. Nope. 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 Ah yes, and there's the next. Ugh. Oh, and more loot. I don't wonder, can we climb all the way up? Okay, no, you cannot climb an indefinite amount. Even if you still have stamina left at some point, it just won't take you up any further. Good to know. So that... Mm. Hey, there we go. That's it. Okay, you fight it and I will sketch it. Hello. Kirikuri. That kind of seems like it would probably be the evolution of the Scarecrows. Also, also the fact that I have to go at this alone is a little annoying. But considering just how low this is... The main reason why this is annoying is probably just because it will be a little more difficult to record it that way. But who knows, let's see, let's just check. Can I actually get a recording of it already? 59% chance, that's not bad. 59% chance, come on! Hey, we've gotten it, Kirikuri. One stum is for weapon practice. Okay, yeah, it is the evolution. Kirikuris have since taken up arms themselves. They fight using bookens. Wooden katanas used for sword practice. Or bookens. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty high health, but none of the other sets are all that impressive. So how about you just die now, huh? How about that? We've gotten what we came for and now you're dead. I really hope I will get another chance to capture the little wooden warrior thingy. Uh oh. Oh. Stop! Okay. Anyone care to explain what I'm looking at right now? Like. This looks like someone's OC on Deviant Art while they are still at the ripe age of 10. What is this? This is an amalgamation of religious motives, a little bit of Naruto, purple skin for good measure. I guess there's probably a skunk in there as well. Stop, fiend. Okay, who yeah. the fuck are you? And don't come huh? back. 
Wait. Who, uh, wait. Are you? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, oh no, please explain. Nope. Was that a monster? I mm. I think my past is coming back to haunt me. Let's get go back to my place. Everything will become clear, I promise. Okay. Mm. It has to be in here somewhere. I found it. Okay. Here, this is my old sketchbook from when I was 12 years old. It was in my apartment with me when I landed, so I still have it. Look at this page. Mm. Her name is Kuneko. Okay. Okay. This seems to be a very important lore bit in regards to this world. It seems like things can just become a reality here. She was a character I made up as a kid. Does she have angel uh, wings? She's like the daughter of an angel and a demon who was lost on earth and adopted by a mystical ninja clan. When she became 21, she left her home on an epic quest to battle at four elemental altars and prove her worth as the greatest warrior in the land. Your art has definitely improved <laughs> since then. I was going through an anime phase in middle school, don't judge me. I'm fully aware of how lame this whole situation is. I have no idea how my low quality childhood drawing has become real, but if Koneko is really is here in this world, I need to find her. I need to get to the bottom of this. Oh! And there she is! That was easier. This, uh, that was easier than expected. Oh. Yeah, that was fast! Believe you me, I'm just as surprised as you are. You saved me earlier. Do you well. know me? I never met you before, but I feel a strong connection to mm. you. Yeah, that figures. I mean, I did create Hi. you. Uh, sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry for not recognizing you, creator. Some time ago, I woke up in a meadow where we first met with nothing but my name on my lips and my quest in my heart. No other memories, creator. <laughs> you really don't have to call me... Call, you keep, okay, you really don't have to keep calling me creator. How about father? That's not much better. Master? Nah. Nope. Daddy? Uh -uh. Absolutely not. Just call me Felix. Connect you. You mentioned yeah. the quest. Must find the four elemental shrines across this land and defeat the beasts that guard them. Only then will hmm. I prove my strength. Man, I really couldn't come, uh, couldn't have come up with a better storyline, could I? Koneki, you probably shouldn't go on this quest. It's not real. I made it up for your backstory. Not to mention the creatures in your viral are pretty dangerous. Ah. I know they don't think I, I have what it takes, creator. Which is why I have no choice but to prove myself. Duh. This is all really weird. It's not just me, right? Yep, pretty weird. Mm. I've created much less embarrassing characters since I was a kid. Why her? Either way, if she's only here because I invented her, I guess I feel somewhat responsible for her. We should find those four elemental altars and make sure she's not putting herself in harm's way. Find the four elemental altars with Felix to track down Koneko. I've got a feeling that those are going to be the shrines that we've seen so far. Unlucky for me, I've got no memory anymore where I've seen them. So right now I'm like, okay, what do I really want to do with those shrines? Oh, god damn it, can I get up here again, please? There we go. Huh. I think one was somewhere on Autumn Hill. But I guess since I don't have any specific knowledge, I think the best course of action is to just head out again and kind of hope we stumble upon them randomly. Also, also, oh, might have found the lower end of the world there. Okay, and there's a little bit of a smaller island over there. Let's see if we can still make this. Oh, and nope, nope, we could not. But not by much, so, oh. Oh, because my stamina has not fully recovered yet, that's why. But it's better to swim, because swimming does take far less stamina. Who are you? Are you one of the captains? Phew! Yep, yeah, you are. Boy, the off-worlders really make a lot of stuff, don't they? Greetings! Greetings! I'm Skip, one of the ranger captains from New Viral. Get up and sort all the stuff you other worlders make the ends up here. I guess he's bonded on this world. 
electronics, furniture, you name it, all gets washed up here and put to good <laughs> use. One world's trash is another world's treasure Say. after all. Say, are you that new ranger trainee, the one who's got a knack for fighting? I suppose I could take a break from my dumpster diving if you want to take on my challenge. Yes. Wonderful. Try to have fun and don't get too disappointed when I beat you. Here we go! So what do you have? Ah, Bin Vader. That, that kind of checks out. Kind of checks out. Okay, I really do not wish for my steel thing to be out and about right now. And um, wait, no, 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 not items. Fight and raise arms, and you get switched because you are horrible against steel enemies. I guess we can just bring in Rip Terror. Rip Terror is just very good neutral damage. Okay, yeah, there's the contact damage, there is the contact damage. Not too fond of this one, that we've already established contact damage there. Oh! Kind of funny that the metal one does look like a smaller version of you. Hey, And a nice little roll again. Ooh, yes, you gotta love it! Alright, lightning bolt for all of you. And... I mean, we can just heroic blade, finish one of them off. There goes one. Hey, and there we go. Are you going to die to burn? Nope, you're just going to die. AP, AP refund. You can get AP back. I want that move. I do want that move. I don't know how you did it, but being able to get your AP back seems pretty goddamn good. Superheated feet. So Skip will probably have another monster ready to go, but I doubt that he's... Oh! Ugh. Okay, You're if we were a little well. luckier with our roll there, we would have actually killed him. You're doing well so far! No problem is to keep going easy on you though. Ah, and I guess that the evolution. Still a trash heap, so I'm not too interested in that monster myself, but nice to finally know. What is... Oh, wait, this is a plastic type now. I've only just now realized. Okay, so I guess that requires a little bit of a change of strategy. He is tanky, I'll give him that much. Everything that doesn't take a lot of damage from Rip Terra usually is what I would consider to be quite tanky. Energy top. Wait, did he? Yeah, I think that's a metal one. And you can just sharpen up in the meantime. That should... yeah, get the wall broken. Mm. Tear down these walls, Mr. Gorbachev! Wait, why can I... Okay, kind of thought I would have enough for lightning bolts, but... Yeah, no, why would I have enough for lightning bolts? I kept continuously attacking her. I guess if you gave the captains more monsters, it wouldn't change much because around the second monster is most likely the time where you are going to wow. kill them anyway. Wow, you really trashed me good, huh? Maybe I underestimated you, outsider. You've exceeded all my expectations. Here's your reward. Ah, you are the number two one. And Binvitation. Calls for help from the mothership. Okay, so... As for me, I should get back to sorting out all this stuff. Do people from your world really own so many <laughs> things? Can't imagine that kind of life. Alrighty then, that's Captain Kid done with. Nice little Captain knocked out of the path. I don't think I really need to replace many monsters. We didn't actually to, uh, take that much damage. Like Rip Terra took a little damage, but... Rip Terra isn't one of my leads anyway. Speaking of leads, why do I have Yormon Gold as a lead right now? Get the Tree Phoenix in there. You know what? Get the Fort Wings in here as well. So, we could. Yeah, you know what? Oh, god damn it. Can I just drown real quick? Because I really don't want to go all the way around again. Thank you very much. Oh, who are you? <laughs> Instead of everybody's a skeleton struggling to get out, come here, let me liberate you from your fleshy prison. Oh, a guy using... Wait, that's a wild pawn dead. That's actually a wild pawn dead. We can actually get a pawn dead for once. I'm here for it. 
I don't think that the first bit is going to do too much. Okay, now it's going to... Well, maybe we're getting past it. Yeah, we've gotten past it. Nice. We have gotten past it. And the Smacker! Ooh, that actually did do a lot of damage to you already. So, you know the drill. Dog heals. Followed up by Gambit! You are not going to do yourself much of a favor there with poison attacks against the steel type. Just, just pointing it out there. Sadly enough, we are going to double the gambit at uh, the poison type. Well, I guess these are positive spikes as well, so why not just double everything? Yeah, you know what? I'm actually taking it back. This is pretty great. And crumble! Yeah, let's wipe out you and Crumble is taking care of your walls, hopefully without killing you. Because if I kill you, then it was a miscalculation on my part. Shit, it was a miscalculation on my part. So much for my one chance to finally get a bloody pawn dead. But there will be another Sorry. chance. Wow, thanks for that. Must have spent too long as a gelatin. I, I really was going to cut your bones out. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez Louise, my man! Okay, what do we have here? Oh! Oh, it was another gelatin. I do wonder, I do wonder if the lesson here is that basically everyone who is a... Every monster here used to be a human. Like, we don't know, but there have been a lot of cases of humans behaving like monsters right now. So, who knows, maybe... Maybe they are just humans. So what do we have here? Couple of statues. This is the last place I want to walk for alone at night. Oh! Hey! Skev Skelevangelist and Pawn Dead! Alright! Two for the price of one. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just going to smack you and I'm just going to spit at you shouldn't kill you, hopefully. Next hit though, I'm not so sure about the next hit. Beast wall. Okay, I mean it's a 50-50 shot to miss the wall, so we should still start the recording, I think. And there's not really much of a point in doing anything other than spit at you. Okay, 100% chance, so even if I don't get past the wall, it's still a pretty good chance to succeed, I would say. There we go. Yeah, still a 100% chance. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Alright, so we finally got ourselves a pawn dead. Pawn dead spent much of their time in dormant state, transmuting their bodies into durable granite. These pawn dead statues can alarm unwitting travelers passing by, find themselves unexpectedly in the company of expressionless skull face monsters. Oh, damn. Perfectly balanced like all things should be. So, I will take care of you in a moment. We are just going to record the other one as well to save ourselves some time when it comes to the evolution and there will be an evolution because we know that there's still some kind of royal version of them. Oh fuck, did I just use a regular tape? Well, whatever it is, we are at 100% recording charts. Oh. Okay, 70%. But it's still a pretty good chance. Yep, there we go. That should take care of the Skevangelist. The Skevangelists are constantly emitting a strange whispered vocal chant. This chanting grows louder when they engage with their ability to psychically manipulate rocks and stones. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Was put in storage. Love to see it. So that takes care of you, and that leaves us with a pawn day to just wipe out. Goodbye. Nice. But those were one of those monsters that I've seen so early on, but wasn't able to get for so long that I was starting to wonder when I would eventually get to them. Oh, oh wait. Okay, it's just another pawn dead. Wait, is it actually the statues coming to life? I didn't really pay attention to where this one came from. 
Okay, it is another it is another one of those little puzzles here. Ah, and there's the last one. I assume. Aha! Open up the graveyard! Okay, there's a ghost in there. Do I really want to encounter a ghost? Hmm. What else could we have here? This is a switch. Oh! Found something! Wait. Is this a train station? No one in town ever mentioned this. Do the people here not know about this? Hello, traffic crab. Welcome, I've taken a little bit of opening platform A for your travel. Now, what can I do for you? Eh, nothing much yet. But thank you very much. Alrighty then. I see. Oh no. What an unfortunate end for you. A dead end, you might say. I don't feel super great about those creepy gravestones with our names on it. Here lies Seisho. Died this year AD. Age unknown. Rest in peace. Okay. Rest in peace knowing that your friends have carried out your wishes, destroyed your most embarrassing drawings. They only giggled a little bit. 1991 till now. Huh. Okay, he's allowing us to progress. Show me how much you wish to survive. Fight for your very lives. Okay, how strong are you? Mm, those are pretty decently high leveled monsters. Hmm. Does kind of make me wish that I did have actually taken the time to take these uh, to go back heal up. But I guess we do have a couple of healing items with us as well if we actually are in a rough shape until we reach the angel. So I guess I should not fret it too much. We're just going to go for the good old double lightning bolt here and another spit. To get the defenses down that should take care of basically everything. Yeah, told ya! Wait. Oh, the mother... Fuck, I got rid of my double hit. I never notice when they get rid of my double hit. Maybe I need to pay more attention, but that's one of these few interactions that I never notice until it's too late. And I'm like, wait, why didn't I not kill two guys there? What's going on here? Amusing. I wish to see more. Okay, we're just going to go straight forward. A reward for your efforts. Rest up where he wants. Change my mind, you'll rest when you're six feet under. Okay. Another gelatin. Mm. So we've got multi-target ready to go again. You know what, we are just going to go for double lightning because I think we can just take out the paw, the paw on that before it does anything else. Not now anymore. But in theory, we could have taken it out. Hey, and the gelatin is still a goner. Gelatin is still a goner, and even... Even if you do not get past the wall, you will still die. Wait, maybe not. Kinda thought that this wall would be gone by now, but nope, as it turns out, the wall was still very much up and active. There we go, not a good little hit, not a good little kill. New team gained experience, lovely, lovely experience. So come on now, angel boy, where are ya? A wrong turn down here, we'll send you to your grave. Okay, so this is just one of those little puzzles where we have to decide where to go. So it's not straight and straight, okay. But is it straight and then to the left? No. Okay, so all of the directions straight are wrong. Oh, a note. A piece of paper with some directions written in blood. Part of it has been torn off. Directions read up, up, down, down. Ah, down. Okay, so up and up. Wait, can I actually heal up now? No. Down. Huh. And down. Up, up, down, down. Okay, maybe that was just 
a little troll on his part, but up up did actually gave me a new location. Well, up up down give me gave me a new location. So let's go somewhere else. Okay, we've got reset that and again. So once again, up up down and then left is the last direction we have not yet taken. Hmm. Wait, there's one more. Up up. Down and up! God dang it! A piece of paper with several directions written in blood. The first half has it's been torn off. The directions read left, right, left, right. Wait, that's the second clue. What was the first clue again? Key items, please. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. Okay. So I guess we have gotten the full puzzle now. Up, up. Down. Oh shit. And um, where am I now? They'll be damned. But they're, they're, wait, they will be demand for land to bury the dead on. For long as people keep dying, it's a guaranteed revenue stream. I see now. Guess the land keeper's got a land keep no matter the situation. So, I'm a little worried about the King Grave because King Grave did fuck me up in the past. So, I am actually going to go for this guy first. The gelatins don't do too much for the most part. So, I just want to wipe this man off the land. Escape. Okay, so. Oh! That's a nice little extra kill there. But now you can actually go for my face. The good thing is, I do have my doubts that you will do anything else afterwards anymore. Shield bash! Yeah, look at that. This man is a goner! Vengeful curse. I don't know what that does. Oh, it just debuffs me a lot. Fair enough. You are a goner. Goodbye. So I do need to reset my route again. Maybe I should quit being a land keeper and become a grave keeper instead. So I have no idea where I am anymore. So let's just try to get back to the gravestone. There we go. And switch a couple of members of our party around while we're at it. You know what? I'm just going to use a couple of rewinds because what do we have them for? We actually have five of them. So Mothman, Bryfinks. Rip Terra and Fort Wings. There we go. Ready to roll out. So up, up, down. And oh, come on. Didn't I make that jump before? Maybe I was just very lucky the first time around. Up, up, down. I guess I could just make in-between jumps. Yeah, I should probably make some in-between jumps. Because right now I just keep falling indefinitely. So up, up, down, and there we go. Down, left, right, left, and right. Wait. Didn't I follow the instructions? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Hmm. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. Maybe I need to go to the opposite direction because it's insane laughter. Down, down. Up, up, right, left, right, left. No. Okay, I'm giving one more chance with the up, up, down, down stuff. Up, up. This thing is going to disappear. Down. Down. Left, right, left, right. 
I mean, this is the farthest we have gotten so far. No, this just teleports me back. Part of it has been turned off. The first half of it has been turned off. I don't get it. I'm literally following the clue here. If I'm missing something and any of you know, feel free to let me know. I guess I shouldn't... Wait! Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. Up, up, down, and this down. And then left. Ah, now we are talking. Now we are talking, right? This drop looks rather deadly, doesn't it? Be careful not to fall. Left. Uh huh? How did that get here? <laughs> I knew there would be another thing like this. Okay, okay, I've got it. That's a very fun little interpretation of the puzzle though. I do like that, I do like that a lot. Um, so let's just do the energy shot and get rid of both of you real quick. So I think... I only need to go right one more time. Let's not forget where we were coming from. Because quite frankly that it's very easy to do in a situation such as this if you throw but a single combat in the middle of it all. This angel is really making me work for it. There we go. Goodbye. I am so going to feed his own ass to the man. And... Wait, do I have to... Tr do I have this now? No. I can just fight this man. Oh, damn! Okay, Kingrave and Scampire. Don't mind if I do. I needed both of those anyway, so this is actually a very good opportunity. And knowing Kingrave, he should probably leave both those hits. Right? Okay, maybe another Kingrave could have, this one didn't. Vengeful Curse, there we go, yes, yes, yes. You, you do the Vengeful Curse before you fuck off. At least I'm still gonna get the, uh, get the Scampire. Wait. Wait, why did I only get to do one move right now? Oh, because the other one was shit. Okay, so it looks like I didn't get to get any of them, which isn't great, but what can you do? You know what, you know what? Sometimes these things happen. You can't capture all of them at all times anyway. There we go. Clock strikes midnight. Humans all must face death eventually. So do not keep me waiting. Okay, so let's get back to where we need to go. Up, up, down, down, and left. There we go. Remove from inventory, train ticket. We could head out here, but in all honesty, why would I? Uh. Uh, what's that noise? I don't mean like a noise you can hear. It's like there's something wrong with the air. This feels, place feels really bad to be in. Okay, so let us switch a couple of things around. Because I would rather have four wings in the lead here. So, what kind of psychotic angel are you that you are making me go through all those hoops? before you decided to finally show your gosh darn faith. 
Oh, what? damn! I have never seen anything like this. What's going on, Seishiro? Why does it look like that? It looks pretty good. It must be an archangel. You, know, you meet things, dream of death so much. Spend your entire short life dreaming of it. Is that what brings you to me? Uh... I feel like this doesn't bode well for us. Let me feast on your fear to show you a true death. Archangel Lamento Mori, dreams of death. Oh damn, you are looking intense there, my man. So then, so then. You know the you know the drill. Let's start with the usual because we want to set gambit, gambit up. This is probably the strongest Archangel we've ever encountered yet. Because oh shit, he has life absorb. Yet it makes it a lot more difficult. So, dog ears onto Felix, and please gambit it up. That's what I would like to see. Bone cannon. Ow, okay, good hit there, good hit there. But we've got our setup going, and that's the only thing that matters. And um, we could set up a wall. In all honesty, I don't think there's much of a reason for you to stay in here anymore. So, how about we switch over to either Rip Terra or Jormungold? I think Jormungold might not be a bad, worst idea ever. And you, on the other hand, WONDERFUL 7! I love the move so much. Wonderful 7 is glorious. Okay, and Confusion! There we go. Seems not that all that confused to me right now, but... Oh! Wait, I don't know why the beast... What, what, what kind of beast wall just triggered? Oh, you sacrificed your end. Okay, gotcha. That's not too bad though, because we have a multi-smack to tear the wall down, and we can just spit at you to maybe even get past the wall. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we did have an excellent switch there. Ritual. Oh damn, since when do Archangels have the Ritual ability? This is going to be challenging, isn't it? Are we going to get a fusion here? It doesn't look like we are going to get a new fusion. Um, you know what, just set up the move this mech, might as well. Wait, what? Set up the move this mech? Why would I set it up on you? Doesn't make much sense. Okay, something here is weird to me. And um, can we do an element of wall in the meantime? And... You know what, you know what, you're not the only one with a ritual. You're going to be the only one for now with a ritual. But generally speaking, you're not the only one with it. I'm just going to set that up next turn as well, just in case. Elemental wall should hopefully stop whatever you're up to. Death ray. Ah, wow, wow. Okay. So how about we set up yet another elemental wall in the meantime. And the ritual as well. There we go. Makes Felix pretty safe here. There we go. Okay, so now, now we are, should be set. You are setting it up another beast wall, as I can see. But that's not going to help you too much. We're just going to move this smack you again. And we're going to spit at you again. Hey, and we got past the wall. And now, tear down these walls, Mr. Gorbachev. There we go, that's what I like to see. Hey, and even got a hit in. Okay, bone can is probably going to get rid of my wall as well. But that's fair, that is fair. Uh, have an AP steal, slow the angel down a little. Shield bash is more precise, so why not shield bash? Ooh, yes. And an AP steal. Bad thing is, he is going to come back to life anyway. Oh, god damn it. Um, let's bring in a Rip Terror just for the early strike now. There we go, nice little strike there. I don't think I'll need both of the attacks for now, so let's just sharpen it up and do another shield bash. That should, yeah, take you down. 
only to be brought back to life again. There we go. Oh, and he still has all of his AP HP up. I see how it is. Nice little hit there. Nice little hit there. You are really making me work for it. Hey, and super heated fist. You love to see it. Well, can you get past heroic blade and spit? I mean, yes, spit. Felix died, only to be brought back to life again. Gotta love to see it. You are not the only Lord of Death. Unlucky for me, you still have. Ah, ooh, god damn it. Okay, that one hurt. That one hurt. I will fully admit it won't hurt. Are we faster? And... Oh god, that was a close one, yeah. Alright, Try Things proves once again why I'm never going to put her off the team. Okay, we got a couple new things here. Forces target randomly switch to another of their tapes. Ah. Whew, that was a tough angel. That was definitely the toughest angel we've ever encountered. Summon increased by 11%. You can now glide for 5 seconds. What do you have to say? If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the east your wings must fly. To the place only I have known. But that is where my chambers lie. Halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head northbound, where your wayward path shall meet, where trees and dirt paths can be found, where grass is fresh beneath your feet. Okay, grass is fresh beneath your feet kind of sounds like we need to get back to the middle. Not even our kind can escape true death. Oh, neat! The big skeleton guy! Every, te every team needs one of those. Oh no, he's speaking about a team. You and I! We should have a proper talk sometime. I think that last bit was... Directed at me. That was unpleasant. Oh. What did the triangle guy mean when he said he wanted to have a proper talk with you? Sounds civil, but I don't trust him one bit. Oh, you said he had a clue you wanted to investigate, right? What was it? Where trees and dirt paths can be found. The grass is fresh beneath your feet. That sounds like it's describing an environment here on the island. Might not be too specific, but it is something. You want to head out then? You said you heard a rumor or something happening in Sherry Meadow, didn't you? That could be our next destination. Like, if we are assuming that our that the temple of the archangel was basically just a train station that we've already found at the very start north east of there why do i get a feeling that it's directing me towards the ranger's hut or something like that could be directing us towards our next destination here oh Damn it! I forgot to do something. I wanted to take a quick break here, yes, because I want to rest. There we go, because I'm pretty sure we get an evolution for Jumpkin! Yes! Beanstalker. Still fun, but I kind of miss Jumpkin already. A Jumpkin has developed a malicious personality. Now, with a fully formed body made of vines and plant matter, they love nothing more than to chase terrified victims with an axe. Does kind of look like an in-between evolution though, so I kind of assume that there will be one more stage to this. And I'm also starting to think that cassette beats might I don't know, it feels like we are starting to slowly approach an end there, because look at everything. If we are looking at the ranger trainee card, view that one. We are only missing four of the ranger captains at this point. If we are taking a look at the bestiary, there's a total of 120 beasts and we have seen 85 of them so far. And they are all the archangels we've encountered so far. Today was successful. We've got Poppetox, we've got Nowhere Monarch, and we've got Lamento Mori. Although, that being said, there needs to be at least. This Lamento Mori suggests that there's at least 11. 
of these guys and so far we've encountered five. Meaning there's at least six Archangels left, at minimum. Interesting. Very interesting. But, 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 that being said, my back is starting to kind of hurt and I think I am going to wrap it up now. I think I am going to wrap it up now. So, thank you all for joining my little early stream here. This is not going to be our regular stream time from here on out, but it will. It was just for the day. It was just for the day because of special circumstances. We are going to raid Mr. Thing Shiny, or rather, actually Shiny. It will take some time for me to still get used to that name change of his. And until next time, bye!